That's dog, where we at? Episode 357 of the JB Pete the fuck is going on out there? I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favorite host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Brother Maul is here. Brother Parks is here. Brother Rory is here. Brother Erickson is here. Corey is here. S Dog is here. Alex Dog is here. Simone Dog is here. And Rim Dog is here. <laughs> No? Don't do that again. All right. All right. We are here. How's everybody doing? After you shout out to our, Jay for doing it. Shout out to our spot. That was craziness. I mean, <laughs> that was craziness. As opposed to what you just did? I did that joking in the front of a podcast. <laughs> Terrence he was, he was on a did podcast. it having a conversation with another adult person. He started barking. Mid-conversation. Yeah, he started did barking. Did that sound like an adult conversation? And then all week, all that, that whole gang was hitting me. Yo, I'll break down the barking to you. <laughs> fam, fam, trust me, I'm okay. Trust me. I'm, y'all niggas bark they away. They definitely hit me like, yo, it's kind of disrespectful that, you know, y'all said that it was like some violence was... Uh, Man. Yo, if you're new to this podcast, we never mean to disrespect you, even though we will. Well, sometimes we mean to disrespect people. But I don't. I mean, no malice. I do. Sometimes the malice is just going to come just on the strength. Yeah. But I don't mean it most times. Uh, like I would like to disrespect those police officers that murdered all those uh, innocent black people across the country. Fuck them. This is all disrespect. Park shot that shit from half court. So sometimes we disrespect people on purpose. Yeah, that's like when Steve Adams made that full court shot. He heaved that shit. (laughs) Go ahead, Steve. Get your shit off. I am Steve, man. No, but I I don't. But even in that, Parks, uh, I totally agree with what you're saying. Yeah. For me, that's not malicious. It's factual. (laughs) Okay. Like, I don't mean evil in reporting this. This is just evil. Mm -hmm. So fuck niggas because it's evil. Right. But no, I'm not coming here to make you evil. You did that. Right. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not taking that. All right, fair enough. Uh, I want to fight one of these niggas, but I can't say it because our platform is so big. <laughs> I want to beat one of these niggas up. Uh, where we at? Where we at? What are we saying? Shout out to our Spotify listenership. Shout out to our YouTube viewership. Shout out to all the women listeners. Shout out to the women that ignore niggas, but they're checking the engagements. Uh, hey, checking the nigga <laughs> engagement. <laughs> <laughs> she know what you're doing out there. So she's looking she at the insights. She's looking at the impressions. <laughs> She like, yo, this nigga impressions is up here. <laughs> get, a, get a job running analytics. Look, ignoring a guy, but knowing the yeah, engagement is sick. Yeah, and sick, yeah. it's the new, I'm Googling this yeah, nigga. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. You got to run you through the Carfax. That's, that's how so. chicks know who, what, how much Jamal Adams is making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they know. They're like, hey, you see Jamal Adams wants to trade, bitch. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> What the fuck are you <laughs> running through the car facts? No, no, see, no, no, Maybe she no, watched no, no, first no, 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 take. no, 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 Maybe no, 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 she no, watched no, first no, take. stop right there. <laughs> this, she fucks this, is one, this is one of those moments that's opportunistic for us to go to the next level. You niggas talked to that girl before. Oh, so don't fuck that. <laughs> Why you think we stop. laughed and agreed? That was that was in like, yeah, tell, tell me that more. Was a co-sign. How'd you feel? I mean, you kind of it comes with the territory now. You know what it is. You kind of like listen to it. You like, oh, okay. But is a little bit of you like, damn, that's fly that we talking about this. Nah, that's fly. Because I think some of, nah. some of the reason that chicks do that is because uh, to be relatable. I think I don't know. I yeah, cannot speak for women. We don't want to relate to what a nigga <laughs> making. Like we don't want to relate to what he got. You saying pocket. fly about the trade or about how much he was making? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause that's what no, he's talking about. On. Analyzing the analytics. Yeah. I think. we talking oh. sports. Oh shit! Like damn, you know Jamal. Is unhappy? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's that, cool. That's like, it's another conversation. I thought you were how saying you know when that? she Googled his net worth. Yeah, like, how, <laughs> do, you, I how do you know he's about. not happy with the, the defensive coach? Like, <laughs> how do you know he's mad at the defense? And, like, and why are you wearing his practice shorts? Yeah, why are you yeah, telling yeah. me this? You're talking to you. Listen, I don't know, but Adam Gase has to go. <laughs> 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 he has like, to go. Uh, uh, all right. You got it. Uh, listen, what else am I saying? Uh, the, uh, Spotify, YouTube. Rest in peace, Breonna Taylor. Of course, rest of course, rest in peace, Ahmaud Arbery. Rest in peace, George Floyd. Uh, gone but not forgotten. Uh, who else am I shouting out? Our essential workers still. Rest everybody that's smoke. everybody that's just opening up. Definitely rest in peace to Pop Smoke. I saw uh, I saw uh, his audition tape that's floating around. I'm sure that some of you have seen. Yeah, it. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Uh, as someone that's gone on auditions, boy, he was real good. He was. Mm-hmm. He was good. And I'm not you, saying uh, that. Because he's pop smoke and it's cool to say he that was great. Did you uh, read the New York Times article? 
Which one? The Bill Simmons ones? No, no, the Pop Smoke one. Oh. <laughs> the director all, of, of, the of this um, <laughs> talked about this entire audition tape and how he was blown away. No, I wanted no to see it. I wanted to read it's a good that. Read. It's a good read. I New York am, Times article, Pop Smoke. I am going to read Definitely that. worth the read. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. Rest in peace, Juice World. Rest in peace, XXX and Extension. Rest, Rest in, in peace, peace, Elijah McCain. The, uh, yeah. The kid in oh well, I, was, I mean, oh I figured God. we'd get into that oh as a topic God. as is, but. Oh, my God. I, that was sick. Can I get a paper towel? Yeah. I'm sweating profusely. Just take off your Balenciaga hat. And oh, maybe when you wouldn't. I, oh, when I'm having sex and I start sweating on top of her? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you don't wear the Balenciaga uh, hat? Uh, yeah, I figured you wore the Balenciaga uh, hat. Uh, that noise you make. That's the noise. We glistening. <laughs> Chill, glistening is un- listening up? together listen, is underrated. Listen, uh, I'm so being a part today. Nah, yeah. and feeling the, the uh, mutual glisten on just, each other. That's just I'm, I'm shining over the top of you. Yeah, that's loop. <laughs> the fuck out of here. All right. Uh, where would you gentlemen like to begin today? You said you wanted to start at homie court. Oh, do 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 do. Yeah. Look at this. He don't even know the That's homie court. That's not even the core. He don't even no, know the. No. What is he doing? When was the last time we did homie court? What is he it's doing? Been, I mean, I if thought you we are, did law and I mean, order. I mean, if you were homie, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> maybe you're not. I mean, homie. do we not use law and order? It's been like nah, three years. No, uh, no. See, Rory, because no, I never get brought people. to it. How would I know? It's people's court. People's court. All right, man. Come on, we just gonna keep talking. You fish your little white nose in there and figure it out. Fish, nigga gave us fish law your and, little white nose. That <laughs> gave us law and order. I thought we used law and order. Law and order after we've been suppressing my Olivia take for weeks. And you've been trying to get that off. There you go. There you go. I got you. Ladies and gentlemen. Because I'm not, I'm not familiar with this court because I don't come here. Yo, That's the, why I had to ask yo, what the theme was. Yo, with the current times. White privilege. A story of PD reopen the case. <laughs> reopen this old case on Rory Farrell. Charges is crazy. <laughs> Disrespecting his bestie. Not being aware of his bestie. Not being besties you? with his bestie. Not acting in love with his bestie. Going to bed on his bestie. It's all the bridge. It's all net. Rory, Rory, Rory. <laughs> it never got that. Rory, Rory. Rory. Never got to the bridge. Yeah, he was Rory. he was cooking. Yeah, I was Rory, letting him kill I, me. I can cook Acapulco. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's Joe. I mean, I no wanted the horn, I wanted the horns to kick in. Stream it. All I've lost. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just throw that in the middle of the conversation. <laughs> stream it. <laughs> But why if I have no, something to stream? Yeah, but I just don't plug it right there. All right, forget and it. I, and I saw you over the week. Yeah, you, you did your little screenshot the same way you kill me for. It's cool. But it was him, so I mean, it's what a little you different. Talking about? When you put uh, some of that's even more of hipster. Loss. No, that's, that's, that's for him. That's swaggy. <laughs> Wow. Defend me. Defend my honor. <laughs> First of all, money. Don't tell me to defend your honor, money. You asked me what happened. Why are we in homies court? I'm here to argue today about everything. <laughs> Like anything Uh-oh. y'all say, I want to argue the other side. You got your hands. You got your, hands. You got your hands full now. No, nah, I'm. What you gonna do? We're getting the edge back now. <laughs> he said he got evidence that proves otherwise. Mm, fuck. What you gonna do? No, let's present the case. Okay. Three years ago today. <laughs> it's not even true, but when you say that, it yeah. adds intensity yeah. to yeah. the story. I it, was, yeah. it was overcast. Yeah, yeah, three years ago today. Seventy-eight exactly. degrees. Exactly. <laughs> three years to the day. Rory, myself, Maul, Parks went out, performed in front of a live audience. Right. Mm-hmm. Afterward, we went to celebrate at a gentleman's club. <laughs> Ooh. Because we're gentlemen. Very different from a strip club. Right. After, yeah, yeah, yeah. After we yeah. tore down a theater. This, yeah. this, a theater. <laughs> a theater. This was for gentlemen only. Mm-hmm. That was us. Right. Mm. We went there. I went back to the hotel, but yeah. No, you was there. No, I wasn't. No, you Maul didn't go. Maul didn't go. I was, I was, that's why you got mad that's at me. That's more I was reason laughing. for me to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> you left me with this nut ass yeah, white boy, yeah. man. You <laughs> <gonna do> some... <laughs> I, I was tired. I said, you I'm know he was going to do some white boy I shit. I knew it. Man. That's what, I was waiting for it. That's why when he came to the phone, I left. Maul went to the hotel to sleep alone, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Without question. <laughs> 
Yeah, like, he didn't meet nobody there. Never. No reason he would not go out and have fun with us no, and was go tired. straight to sleepy. Yeah, he no more. Fatigued. Yeah. Yeah. We just had a good show, man. I Fatigued. And I think, I think he, we had a show. he needs his rest. We had a show the next day Maul wanted to prepare for, yeah. right, so he could right. not say yeah. anything. We go out Get his to, notes together. We go out to the gentleman's club. Get his club. notes together. I'll speed this up. I purvey the room. Purvey. <laughs> <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that a dessert? That's your court language? Uh, uh, yes. I purvey the room. Mm. What do I see? Let me tell you. Erickson having the time of his life. Right. First time I ever mm. see all, uh, S, E drunk. S dog. <laughs> S dog lamping and romancing. Yeah. Stack of ones. Uh, yeah. Come Stack on. Of ones in Stack hand. of my ones. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the bottle I bought in his hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know doing that shitty do. Doing that shitty do. And after S dog, I glanced and I seen a nigga. Uh huh. That you didn't know. Who the fuck is this nigga? Yeah. I'm just a man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a Yo, man. a whole ass man. A weird man. But when man. I looked at him, he was looking at me, smiling. So I'm like, oh, this must be my dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I met somewhere before. Yeah. It's my man right yeah, here. Right. Everyone's having that's a blast. All it takes is a smile. Yeah, that's, that's all smile. it takes to get us, man. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, long story short, at the end of the night, after all of us have spent our money and ate our meals, mm -hmm. and it's time to leave, who is the difficult person getting them to exit out of this gentleman's club? You guessed it. Your man. Duke. Yeah. Smiling Duke. Smiling Duke, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we smiled, so we kind of got a connection. Right. So now I'm trying to get them out, get them out of here safely. Right. And it was a whole debacle. It was nasty, yeah. man. I, it's not something I wanted any parts in. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, at objection, some point. Objection, objection, objection. Your Honor, he is leading the witnesses right now. Mm. There is lying happening right now. Denied. Full-blown lying. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Let lies get off. <laughs> what the fuck is he That's talking about? about. Yeah, you're nah. leading the witnesses. Yeah, but in my opening argument, I had, can lie. It's, had, this, is, this is me compacting no, no, you all my that. lies together. You understand together. that. Yeah. No, we got to get through this. Yeah. We don't have time for, for stands and opening but I'm statements and closing statements. I object. Denied. Objection denied. Have no, you ever met this gentleman? Yeah, Mark denied it already. I denied. I never agreed he was the judge. What <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? We don't agree on who the judges the judge? are. Corey. Come on, I want to wrap this at 30. Corey denied well, actually, it. Actually, no. Corey's going to go for you. It. Parks is going to agree with you no matter what, and Corey's going to agree with you no matter Everyone what. Everyone here Erickson. is going to. Erickson denies it? it too. You're done, kiddo. You're done. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're black. You have, you don't have time to. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? He keeps trying to have options yeah, like a white yeah, man. No, no, it's over. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> views you a certain way now, yeah. and this is the overall consensus. <laughs> no, no. I'm always on my side. We did pre-production. Maul's the judge. Long story okay. less long. This gentleman is Rory's man. Mm. It's Rory's man's in them that's in there just having a blast. You met him before or no? Of course. Okay. Of that's, course. That's what I was objecting to, le to leading the jury, a.k.a. our listeners. You have met this gentleman plenty of times. I've met so many gentlemen so of many course. times. That's, just... I've met so many gentlemen so many times. I'm just oh trying to show hey, that, don't that be you fooled. are not a credible don't witness be fooled. because don't, you're lying. Hey, don't, you're hey, lying. Don't, you're lying. You're not a credible order. fucking hey, witness. Don't be like the women that met my mom and think we're connected. <laughs> Fam, my mom was coming over regardless today. You met her by accident. Yeah, I didn't even want y'all to sniff each other. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Rory. Sorry about that, buddy. Just this is to Rory's show you're not man. Rory's man ended up with me responsible for him having to get home. Okay, that's a I didn't, thing to do. I didn't. I didn't. I'm irresponsible. Okay, I did I not respect that. ask it's not for your job. that yeah. responsibility. Right. So what did I do? I hit the group chat and said, "Yo, this is what's going on." And know what I got back? You guessed it. An LOL from Maul. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I knew some bullshit was to happen. which peeved me right. way more than I was already peeved. Mm -hmm. I think we all followed up with LOLs. Too, Everyone so. then continued to laugh and make a mockery of my situation. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I knew how friends. upset you were. Real friends. Fam, I'm only here for a verdict. To me, the jury should have deliberated and been done by now. Rory, do you have a, uh, a counter argument? I was waiting until he was done with is uh, nuts. spewing no, the lies. Yeah, he, that is nuts, so. Uh, uh, gentlemen and ladies of uh, of the jury, mm -hmm. jury of my peers. What say you, Rory? That, that is nuts to you... go out with your man, leave your man 
hung drunk in the club while you go to bed in a four to five star hotel bed. <laughs> and then when your man tells you that it's your man that's still bugging out, blacking out and can't walk, you say, LOL. Right. Okay. <laughs> and let me I just add LOL. in th- that man. That was a black man. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. What you, oh, if what I'm it, lying, I'm his flying. Oh, been oh, different with I'm a, grounded. With a white man. I'm grounded right now. If I'm lying, I'm flying. What, what say you, Rory? Yeah, what, what's your, a make black, your argument? A black man, he treated that way. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. In, in D.C., the nation's capital. With all that's going on there. Chocolate City. Mm. Yeah. How is he different than No Name? I don't know if we should edit that. <laughs> it was pretty funny, though. <laughs> How is he doing? Maybe we I'm should keep it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen now of the jury, that, that I'm like asking that. y'all. There's not a big difference between Let this white man I mean, answer for himself yeah, yeah. Uh, in front of the culture. That's kind of been a thing forever, me and no name. Yeah, no, nah, I, I can see it now. <laughs> now, nah, you got to answer to the culture for that. Mm. Let's answer to the culture. A gentleman that you knew, but that was my man. I mm. brought him there. Mm. Right. That is my responsibility. Mm -hmm. If he does some dumb shit, it's not on him. It's on me. I brought that gentleman to the club. That's a fact. Anything that happens with this gentleman is my responsibility. Sounds like that is a fact. Can we all agree there? Can the court agree there? That's a standard. Oh, so we're throwing this out. Honorable thing. Yeah. We don't even have to waste money on this case. (laughs) You agree? The the original charges, which you you were bad at explaining in the beginning was nasty moving behavior is Mm. what I what I was guilty of. Mm -hmm. Mm. Is that the charge you're presenting? Joe, From, it's important that you uh, state the charge. It's nasty. It's nasty. Okay. Okay. Nasty behavior. Okay. This gentleman came with us to the club. Clearly, clearly had way too much to drink. Mm. Without question. He spilled a bottle of wine in the Sprinter, if I recall. Probably. Yeah. You went from nasty to roar to roar to Escobar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you get to the elbow. From the I elbow mean, shot. yeah, all right. Yeah. It, yeah. it was cool. Yeah. Elbow. Wasn't elbow. 15 foot. Elbow, yeah. Free, yeah. elbow like, free throw. We've been yeah. working on this. <laughs> That's the shot that we worked. It was, off the, it was off the glass. <laughs> it was ugly, but it went in. That's you know? a sick shot to just work on in the gym. The elbow free throw point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coach wants me to hit free that throw? shot. No, no, yeah, no. The elbow. Okay. Yeah. I could clearly see that this gentleman was too drunk. And I had seen in the past that this person gets drunk. And let me tell you, my free throw percentage was never the greatest. <laughs> ben Shack, let me there. add that. <laughs> I'm just throw that talking. in there? Yeah, yeah. So the elbow, uh, that was fine to me. In that case, yeah. That was like a three. Right. <laughs> All right. So I, uh, I was a bit tired because I had been carrying your heartbroken ass through that whole tour. So I was really tired from our show. Mm. Okay. I object. <laughs> Relevance. <laughs> No, you admitted it on Twitter. I can pull, pull I, up the evidence. I object. <laughs> mm. Relevance. My state at the time is relevant how to Rory leaving his man ass out drunk in the middle of D.C. streets, a black man. Sustained. That's sustained. <laughs> Thank you. That's sustained. <laughs> Thank you. But you see I'm respectable and let you get your shit off. Fam, talk to the judge. And by the way, this is why I said this court was already lopsided to Joe because they did not object anything the moment you said a fucking word. Yo, this is insane. I love, yo, Where is the news cameras? I love when white niggas, I love when white niggas say shit is lopsided. Like in, in this know, country. <laughs> Corey, in this country, inside right? Inside of me, yeah. that's like, ooh, yeah. yes, lop it some more. <laughs> this is we 500 years of lopping. Lop some more. We've been lopped for 500 years, Rory. You can deal with five minutes of lopping. Guys, 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 guys yeah. I was playing get off get him saying off. I was the black person get in court. Never mind. The joke went over y'all head. It's Cole. I'm the J. Cole of jokes. I got... <laughs> we gonna talk about Another something Another call back to no name. I'm on fire. <laughs> Yo, can we? Just, can we? The jury has been back. <laughs> yeah, that was your man. The jury has been. Right, no, 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 no. Let, let, me, let me. I'll be quick. I'll be quick. We got a, uh, off tangent. I was tired. I was ready to leave. So I say, "Yo, uh, his name." Mm-hmm. I said, "I'm about to leave. How are you getting home? Mm. I'll put you in an Uber." Mm. He said, "My girl." is already on the way and coming here. Okay. I said, perfect. Okay. I'll wait till she gets here. Right. So I walk this gentleman to the front of stadium. Mm. I put him in a car, put his seatbelt on, make sure his girl checks the mirrors, make sure everyone loves transgender people. I do all the things I do when I get in a car. Mm-hmm. She said, I'm taking him straight home. I said, great. Mm. 
I then, from outside the stadium, call my Uber and go back to my hotel. Mm. I text him and I say, yo, hit me when you back. I then go into my hotel room and go to sleep. Yo, mm. are any of y'all going to chime in to tell him how nuts he is? I'm no, so far, uh, he's presenting he's, his... He's, present his uh, he texts his drunk friend. What's nuts about that? I, I've... Well, Drunk gotta, texted gotta, nonstop. Yeah, you gotta reach out. You gotta reach out to him. Yeah, to make sure he's okay. He texted his drunk friend and went to bed. Well, you know, because Joe was it sober happens. and texting back. Here, yep. <laughs> it happened. Hey, bro. now that we on this corner, what he was doing like, now we on the corner at seven. He was making sure his friend was alright though. He was making sure he was good. Put put him safely in a car you've to heard, leave. Listen, it's thirty five. You've heard both sides. No, no, mm. I'm not done yet. Oh, he then gets in an argument with said girl. Twelve feet up. Oh, did you see the argument? No, I saw him walk to my car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got back I, in the I, I saw that he my doubled, car, couldn't, back to, my car to couldn't move forward because we were blocked by traffic. And then a man came to my vehicle and I opened it for him because he was partying with me and smiling. <laughs> oh, he came back to the Sprinter. That's how I he got, got him in all. an. That's how I got them all. Oh, okay. And that's when I text, yo, whose man is this? Gotcha. I'm trying to Joe, go f- get my it wasn't, dicks up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It wasn't 12 feet away. <laughs> it wasn't 12 feet away because I had already, I had been back. Like, I left ladies, way before you. Ladies y'all. and gentlemen of the jury, we have topics to actually get to yeah. 40 minutes. And ladies and gentlemen of the jury, can you deliberate and just let us know? I don't think that is? Rory was nasty, but he is ultimately responsible for yeah. bringing his He wasn't man. nasty, though. And that's he did, I he safely did. put my friend in a car with no. a sober girl. No, 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 no. Second degree nasty. You're unintentionally oh. nasty. You didn't right. mean it. Y'all you didn't plan it. Third degree. You didn't plan it. Third right. degree nasty. You're still nasty. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's, okay. It's not. It's let, not what you presented. Let me. Let me just. Let me just present. He wasn't nasty with malice. Yeah. He did. He did his job. Third degree nasty. You put him in a car. He took all the right. The all right. All the right steps. He took. Put him in a car. Let me just present. Let me just present something. Florida Escobar. Let me just quickly present a one little topic. That one was off the rim, by the way. That was bad. I tried to interrupt you because I knew it was going nowhere. Let me present something. Joe and I have known each other for a couple a year, years now. A year. A couple years now. A year. <laughs> One year. I've been drinking couple for months. a couple years. Seven months. I have left... I like him, though. Three, four of Joe's houses drunk as fuck in Ubers with strangers with everything. He's never texted me once. I don't care about you. <laughs> <laughs> so how what can he say that's nasty? What the saying? Who said I cared about him? <laughs> Oh, I'm God. not. I'm not drunk looking care. for Rory. Man, he don't care about homie though. I'm home. Yeah, I oh, was in my say hotel. That. Say that. Let's say that. That's what he said. He said, "Who said he care about him?" Yeah. Oh. What, when did I ever say that? Oh, there you go. <laughs> so it's over then. Case dismissed. It sounds like a case dismissed to me. Yeah. 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 He's admitting he don't care about the guy. So if you even don't care if I, him, even if I did, it's case dismissed. If he don't care about him, he went above and beyond. Putting him in the car, make sure he was good. That's facts. That's facts. Go that's ahead. What facts. <laughs> facts. It's case dismissed either way. Facts. Yeah, that's dismissed. That's, facts. that's on his girl. We can throw that out. Facts. 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 Fam, you facts. gotta stop playing that. Stop. Cause facts. <laughs> facts. <laughs> that's. Thank you. Because yeah, I know ev- everyone that. in this room has put their friend in a car with their yeah, girl and didn't text them. I know nasty. y'all. I he's know y'all didn't do that. He's not everyone nasty. in this room is lying. He's not nasty for that. <laughs> I'm not nasty at all. Yeah, no. Nah. He's not nasty for that. Joe just got mad, which is understandable, and then carried yeah, it on now, for now three I fucking years. Joe but you are no, guilty Joe of, should be. Oh, you, no, no. Are, you are guilty of bringing the homie that acted reckless. That's a fact. And Joe and I talked about that, and I'm cool with that. No, I brought the drunk person that ended up making the night worse. That's a fact. I own that. Well, how do you feel about that? I'll sit for 30 days on that one. What, what, what he needs? Uh, he's on a month probation. Okay, a little probe. Probation. For that one, sure, yeah. Probation. But I've been had time served. This happened three years ago. Yo, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Every time, don't I, hold us. Every time I try to figure out what keeps people listening to this podcast, mm-hmm. one of y'all do something that makes me say, "Oh, that's it." <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense now. That's why, right yeah. there. Who else but us? That was a punch, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> if you could not tell. Shout out to our first and last time listeners, by the way. Shout out to everybody that endured that homie court. It was long, I know. Pause. Remember when people used to like front like they didn't punch in verses? Oh, yeah. 
I guess that's the wrong with punch. <laughs> that was Jay's, that was that was Jay fault too. That one take shit. <laughs> Every rapper tried that. Didn't no. Yeah. Tried to not okay write their tried to not write totally their lyrics fine. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine to write your lyrics for. too. <laughs> breathe. We yeah. understand. Yo, we could spend. Speaking a pod. of breathe, we, we have could, a uh, no, 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 no. Slow down, slow down. My bad. I saw what you tried to do. We could we could spend a podcast on that. Yeah. Okay. Punching. No, just the evolution of rapper vocals. Recording, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. think about it. We touched on it before when it was like my era, the Same overdub, the, next the overdub uh, era. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But punching when we were judging dudes for reading from their phones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was they went thing. out quick. That was because they were right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They were right. Like it's only fucking. Me and M carrying around a composition book. <laughs> <laughs> and, I told, I, and memorizing I, your lyrics. But I told right. you, I like, like that, that fucking though. Fucking idiots. That's a, that's a, um, I like that. Like, especially your penmanship, because your penmanship is, is really unique. I told you that, that, to me, that's. I got mad at my books. That, still. But keep that's that. that. I think yeah, that that's, 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 that's a unique thing, though. Like, I don't think a lot of rappers still have their rhyme books. Like, that's a really unique thing. Yeah. yeah, no, them shits look like some type of art. It absolutely. Was, no, absolutely, I, yeah. I told you that years ago. You yeah, have to keep baby. your round books. You have to. Now, back to me not knowing the value of this podcast. Mm-hmm. Rory said, hey, Parks, come on, let's hurry up and punch in so we can talk about Fab and Jada. <laughs> and then Maul said, no, Rory said, let's start. And then Maul said, yeah, let's talk about how Jada's going to smoke Fab, uh, how Fab's going to smoke Jada's boots. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then we Ver- all verba- just. Verbatim. We all J- just Jada will stopped. get his Boots smoked. In we this all battle, just, yeah. we and I love Jada. I don't want that to go out like I don't love Jada. I it love goes Jada. out like that. You think the boots are getting it, smoked? But it goes out like that, by I the way. I think so, yeah. I don't think, I think so. so. I don't even think it's fair. He's what? got a, he's got a Ma, group. what is your basis for saying that? Because uh, oftentimes on this podcast, we give our opinion that we're unqualified to give with no basis or foundation. Uh, why do the, you think, why the, do you use boots smoked? Uh, the years of consistency from Fab. Jada has been consistent as well. Not as consistent as Fab, and I don't think. For longer. No. Jada came By out the way, before Fab. You keep bringing that yes. point up. It doesn't matter in 20 records. Jada could have had a two-year career, but if he has 20 records better, it doesn't matter That's about that point. longevity shit. That's a good point. I'm sure they'll yeah. go over, I agree, I'm sure they'll go over I agree in totality. I think if you're consistent for 20 years, you have 20 records. You could be consistent for five and have 20 records. Yeah, so you, you're proving my point. No, quite the opposite. Consistency, you'll have records. <laughs> if quite you're the consistent, opposite. If you're consistent, you'll have records. That's but some point. people are, uh, have a good three or four or five years and might have 20 f- crazy records. Like That's a thing that happens, too. Nelly and 50 yeah. didn't have the longest runs in the scope of things, but had the biggest runs. For me, <laughs> Fab should lose this. Why? Because anywhere that Fab can pull from, Jada pulls from plus. And let me explain to you what I mean. For if Fab gets into his R&B bag, Jada has a very potent R&B bag yeah. that I keep saying is not acknowledged for Jada Kiss. This yeah, is man. definitely one of the, let me the just best finish. rap battles. Let me just finish. I never thought we would see this battle. Yeah, me either. I never thought we would. This has been the, I've bar- said the that barbershop on this battle That we will never forever. see this battle. We talked to, we've, we've had this battle conversation. Yeah. But, let me, but let me finish my point. Fab, who his upper hand on anybody would be mixtapes, that's not your upper hand with Jadakiss, though I doubt that either one of them will get there. Jada might, because niggas done started something, started on a mixtape. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So he might get into that. And, and this is where I give Jada the, my, this is where finality sets in. Jada's pulling from a group catalog as well as a solo catalog. That's yeah. why I was saying it wasn't fair. He's pulling from the locks. So when I played it out in my head, I had, I had Fab maybe edging him solo. Mm-hmm. But forget. when Jada is able to play Fuck You. He's also written a lot of big records for Puff. He's also Bad Boy. He's also featured on Reservoir Dogs, 24 Hours to Live. Like his features Benjamin's. are nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His posse cuts, when he plays the ex posse cuts. Mm-hmm. I, that's where I, I just, just I, that's where I see the separation happening at. Not in their solo careers, not in longevity. These are two monsters to me. Yeah. yeah. But Jada Jada, for all of our flack, our flack tour Jada. What's the flack tour Jada? He's never made the that classic, album. Yeah. But he has some close to classic albums and well, a lot of classic songs. Even, even if he does not have close to classic albums, he has too many classic songs. Yeah. yeah. Like In different genres, too. Like you said, R&B. He's got like street classics, mixtape classics. We're going to make it as a point. 
Yeah. Niggas done started something is a point. On for the love is a point. Made you look is a point. Like, yeah. and again, this is without me looking at a cheat sheet. Right. No, yeah. I, I understand. I'm not. I'm not searching. I, yeah. He can. He could play. I don't know. The he could play Biggie last day. I, Benjamin's is a yeah. point. <laughs> like, I don't know the the guaranteed points for Fab. Hmm? That's what it where it boils down to for me. Okay. The guaranteed points. So you got you got Jada winning this. I I don't know. I'm not just asking. I don't know. I, I'm not, I think I'm, Jada. I'm, I, I do think know. Jada. I got Jada I'm, I, I'm, I'm be, taking a side. I'd be I'm wrong. Jada. I'd be wrong a lot, but I go Jada. I'm taking Jada. All right, I'll take Fab. It's, it's too much in that early. But Fab era. has like smashes that Jada might not. Tell me what Fab plays when Knock Yourself Out comes on. No, don't do that. That wouldn't even be the I one can't I would deny pick. It. I'm, no, I'm asking. I'm just. Yeah. I'm off the top of the head, Roy. Yeah, I'm not. I can't deny I'm it. not. Um, breathe. Yeah, I, <laughs> breathe. I can't breathe. deny it. Breathe I, is a point. I go with breathe. But see, that's my point, Maul. My own, the closest thing I get to to a guaranteed point for Fab is breathe. The little Mo record. And if against knock yourself out, you lose. Well, no, he I'm probably saying, wouldn't play it. Against what? I'm oh, just yeah, saying yeah. it's records. Breathe is the record that the record I don't. Tamiya. I don't really care what Jada Kiss plays. Breathe should be a point, but if if kids counters that correct, um, Benjamin's comes on. I'm not thinking about breathe. Nah, because I think <laughs> I, I know you're saying, and I agree with you that Jada's R and B bag is good. But if they get into that R and B break, Fab is winning that portion. Like Jada doesn't have a so into you. He doesn't have a trade at all. He has like, uh, the Usher record. Well, that's where I mean, well, that's where that was remix, argument was that no, on the original. That was, a, that was the album. That's where Maul's that was, argument oh, yeah, right. comes. So no. into you, you make me better. Uh, Throw it in the bag. Throw it in the bag, remix. Listen, this is my record. I don't know if Fab is going to play this. Not. Nah, I think if, if he stays in R and B, no, those no, are going to no. be where Listen. Fab gets his points. I don't know if Fab plays this, but he's, he's um, playing this. I don't he know if, if he, he plays does. This. It'd be early. Now if listen he does, to me. It'd be early. If somehow this turns into a B side battle, it won't. It won't. It yeah. won't. But if it does, I hope they go forty instead of twenty or thirty. What can Fab play against Kiss's uh, Beanie Siegel disses? I'm not sure they'll come on. They probably they, won't. But they won't. That's why I said like he's got the street classics, the mixtape classics. Like, Kisses. It's just going to be tough. I, yeah, it's just going to be tough. It's gonna be but if, any, if anybody can, much. if anybody can beat Kiss, it's Fab. That's just because what other matchup is? It's there? a great it's matchup. I just think. Kiss has too much to pull from that's not just him. When you talk about the features he's been on, those are classic. Reservoir Dogs is a classic. And out totally outside of that point, Rory, don't Fab have a new baby coming? Congratulations to Fab. You're not, oh, trying, to kill. You're not trying to kill. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a kill boy. Anybody, y'all don't have kids, but anybody with a kid coming in, you're not trying to kill. I'm trying to love. You're thinking love. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> love and life. Yeah. Oh, well, congrats, it is a congrats, Fab. I didn't know that. Congra- yeah, congrats. Congratulations to Fab. Yeah. That's great. Oh, and a girl as well. Amazing. Beautiful thing. Yeah, congrats. Beautiful man. thing. Uh, this is, what, when is this battle happening? I think the Monday, right? Why is it a Monday? It's an interesting day. I like do Monday. That. Do you? I love Monday. Yeah. Monday's a perfect day. That's well, prime yeah, time. We, we record on Tuesday. <laughs> Listen, Monday night mixtape. Monday's uh, the top of the week. I actually gave y'all something Saturday. Sit on this on a weekday. New York, New York. Hand me my Pele Pele jacket. This mm-hmm. is what it is. This is the energy. Yeah. Fab and Kiss is not Saturday night energy to me. It's Monday night, mixtape, weekday, weeknight, grab your phone, you know what the fuck is happening right now. That, that's I don't it. usually drink dark liquor on a Monday, but here we are. <laughs> no, you have, you have, you have, you grab you yourself a Bex and turn up on a these Bex. Nights, <laughs> A uh, Bex light. Watermelon Bex. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a little, flavor, little flavored that's Bex for Park. Disgusting. Damn, man. How are they going to do this to New York? And I think people is kind of outside now, so the weekends aren't the same they were during that's a good point. the real quarantine. That's a good point. Like, People will be outside on Saturday. All these niggas looking at me when night and a chain. I got dough. I let a price lay on your brain. I smoke nice trays in the rain. A so my princess, you, it looks like you should like have to be a certain age to watch this battle. Like I don't want to see. I don't want to hear no young niggas Listen, talking about yo. He got no me. young niggas. This ain't for you. Shut up. That's man. why I'm rapping. Nasty outside, on the court. Nigga, the you... dice game and the kid ain't got no prize. So when I put the heat to your head, I ain't talking about blow dry. Let's go now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Yeah, do you know what I thought when I yo blow dryers go to your head? They do. <laughs> they do. That is so simple. Do the science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the I science. No, up until you just rap that, I didn't even get that boy. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah, this is gonna be. This is rough. 
This is New this York. Is rough. This is New York. Yeah. Let me see if Fab will answer the phone. He probably won't. Nah. He don't I, answer the phone on a regular day. Either. I ain't called him <laughs> since Flex was out. But this this <laughs> might this might end up being my favorite one. Just it's all both of their catalogs. Yeah. Of yeah, we said every battle. I know, no, but, but this, it, but this like, is Fab and Jada. Nah, but Bounty and them. Shut up. It's personal. It's Fab and Jada, man. This is New York. Come on, Fabo. This is Fabo. This is my demo. Come on. Come on. Give us something. Uh, I don't like the third round. I normally don't stay on after the third mm. round. Yeah, I don't like that. That's a dumb. Uh, Fab, guess what? I'm going to call Kiss. I was going to say, <laughs> I could try to call Jada. I don't know if I'll pick up. No, I'm banging it on you now. Don't don't five rings me. <laughs> <laughs> That's embarrassing, yeah. I'm going to get somebody on his phone. I'm going to call Swiss next. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Joe? Jada Kiss. This is Joe Budden from the Joe Budden Podcast. How you doing, buddy? What's going on, brother? How the hell are you? Oh, man. I'm excellent. Good to hear from you, King. I hope all is well. Kiss, what's good? All is beautiful, my brother. Listen, Monday night, you yes, versus sir. Fab. Yeah. I thought this would never happen. <laughs> I thought this would never happen. I'll be honest with you. But you want to smoke that nigga, right? Tell the truth. Me? Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming with the machetes out, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, damn, man, I have so much to say about yeah. this. Yo, when is niggas? Yo, when is niggas done started something coming on? Uh, it might come with the Look. second batch. Mm. With, with the game plan that I got, it might come with the second tent. You know what I mean? Because I'm I'm here to control the narrative. <laughs> right? So, you know, we know you got a lot of billboard features. So we gotta we gotta make sure we gotta make them play my game. Hey! We gotta make them play my game. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, are you gonna play? Uh, what's the posse cut on X's second album? And it's the last question I have about what you'll play. Hours. Not no, not 24 hours to live. That's bad boy. I'm talking about uh, blackout. Yes, oh my god. Oh, that's that shit. Yeah. Uh, is that in your arsenal? You thinking about that at definitely. all? Definitely. That's definitely oh. that's, that's definitely in the that's in the chambers. You hey, know that. Hey, 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 I don't know what Lil Mo gonna do with that one. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, kids. Yeah. See, see you um unlike a lot of people in the world, like you know that I got I got them kind of songs. The, hey, too. I just said that. You know what I mean? That's yeah. my that's my like thing that a lot of people don't think I got features or big features or girl songs or I got, got a that. nice I got a nice arsenal of those also. Listen, so should, uh, be, should be nice. This whole room oh, that is that thinks crazy. that you may be victorious, with the exception of one of us. I'll let that person chime in more. Why do you think Fab is going to be victorious against Jada Kiss? Um. I think I don't know. I think th that Fab just has the more no the records that are more notable. Like people know more Fab records. That's all. Yeah, you got to school. All right, he gonna learn set, uh, Monday. Yeah. Well, we are gonna see. This is New York. I'm, okay. I'm excited. Yo, Kiss, do not get yeah. any healthy green juice from Styles that day. I need a cigarette in your hand. <laughs> Nothing healthy for for Monday. Nah, nah, I'm on, I'm on do say, man, I'm on. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't corporate kiss. I ain't coming hey, in corporate. Hey, I'm, I'm regular kiss. Yes. Yeah, I, I listen. You know what I, mean? I listen. I don't know what he gonna do when Reservoir Dogs come on. I don't know, kiss. I don't know. I don't know. I'll be there. I'll be glued to it. I love you. Right. Thank you for sharing with my, us. My phone is always on things, so if, I, if I'm slipping, Joe, send me some. Oh no, no, send no. me. You know, hit me on the hit me on the hitter. So oh, you know, oh well, wait, wait, you forgot about this. Wait, wait, before, hit this. Listen, before I, before I go, you will be you will be sadly mistaken if we do not hear when you think of Jay, you think of a problem. Oh, come on, Joe. All right, forget it. All right, don't worry, man. Come on, man. Hey, Kiss, I love you. I'll see you Monday, my nigga. All right, baby. One. Oh. Hey, Ma. You're done. I ain't going to lie. Kiss is He's in his pocket. Call Fab back. Yeah. Call Fab back. Like, you niggas got a lot of air in y'all chest. I respect it. Get y'all shit up. Get your shit off. Call fat well, back. Call nigga, back no. Yeah, let's nigga call. having a baby. Let me call. The fuck? <laughs> nigga having kids. All right, let's go fast. See what's going on. Holy shit.
<laughs> yeah, y'all niggas is hype. Let me get my shit. I ain't even think on the R and B side. Kiss got ride or die, bitch. Kiss got a lot of R and B records. <laughs> Listen, not more than Fab though. Fab scared to even answer the phone, my G. <laughs> He's looking for the no, studio. No, he just doesn't want to talk to you. <laughs> Let's call Fab while this place. You call Fab and Kiss answered. What the fuck? See, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this nigga about to lose, man. <laughs> No, nah, I'm leaving this on Fab. I'm leaving this on Fab Machine. <laughs> come on, come on, voicemail. No, nah, they don't. I know what I want to do. Leave a message. Yeah. <laughs> Send yourself to voicemail. Ah, boo. Nobody has a voicemail. It's machine proof. <laughs> hold up. Send him a voice though. Yeah. Wait, well, then let me play it for more. Then hold up. Uh, you gotta play this for me. It's my shit. You was in your living room. <laughs> nigga, you got me your, fucked up. Nigga. I was you outside. was in your living room. I was outside, man. Yo, mom, yo, mom, the lights is coming off. They turning off early. Can I stay out later than nah, that tonight? Nah. <laughs> Can I stay I out gonna, past six? Was this nine seven? Nine eight? Uh, nine eight, I think. I was seventeen years you old. Was in a, <laughs> I was outside. Yeah, what you was doing at seventeen, and what I was doing maybe, at seventeen, maybe, it maybe. ain't the same. But nigga. I was outside for sure. With with permission, though. No, I was outside. <laughs> Defiant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yo, and react. What you mean? Because he's talking That's to you. That's my shit, though. When you think of me, me as in kiss, Jada right. kiss. I got it. You think of a, a problem. problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, Maul does not. Answer and to And how it. you going to solve him? Maul clearly doesn't think he's a problem. Nah, uh, it's going to be close, but I think that. It's going to have to be 10 briefs. <sighs> I think that Fab, I think <laughs> Fab is <laughs> I wouldn't mind hearing brief 10 times. Only because Fab has the more. <laughs> The records that nah, more fab, people will hey, know. I'm joking. Bro. Don't try to get fab, man. Fab gonna try for my ladies. That nigga to death. <laughs> yeah, I'm he's gonna yeah. He gonna, Listen, he, he has gonna to be on the He's gonna depend on who my ladies. You depending man. on who show up in that little uh, tech shit they got going up. The suicide. If, if it's will a be, lot of will, chicks, will be in effect. I think. I think. I think Jada there. gonna win in the barber shops, but uh, Fab is gonna win. Throw it in the bag is a point, unless we gonna make it come on or off of love. Throw it in the bag is a point. That's a point. We don't talk about that record enough in hip hop history, Throw and I'm not I'm not allowed to. But you don't even listen to the regular. A lot of politics record. on that one. Why you say? Can't say. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm I'm hip to y'all now. No, because of their tension. <laughs> yeah, which which by the way, the tension continued. <laughs> it's not like that record cl- like and, uh, it, like it cleared it up. And dream. No, the other gentleman that's featured on the, the other remix. D. Hey yo, <laughs> come on, man. All right, have I'm some sorry. have some self respect. I'm sorry. <laughs> the big D. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you know who the fuck we talking about. The dream. No, nigga. I, yeah, that's why I, <laughs> nigga I that been on Billboard for the last ten years. The fuck you, number one. I was confused. <laughs> the, the biggest, best rap, you, best the biggest you ever had. He told, he told you. <laughs> I'm the best yeah. you ever had. You yeah. know how arrogant that is to tell somebody that? Yeah. I'm the best you ever had, bitch. No, yeah. to harmonize it is even more arrogant. <laughs> yeah, you my everything, but check this out. <laughs> I'm the best you ever had. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I'm me. Yeah. <laughs> That's before he was rich, so you know how you feel him now. Oh, man. Yeah, get, get out of town. All right, man. Fab, Jada Kiss, Monday night. Be there. I'll be, be there. Be, be there one. or be square. And you know they're going to be in the same venue acting like they're friends. Mm. Oh, yes. Acting like they're friends. Oh, my God. I cannot wait. They're going to have the pianos? I cannot wait. Nah. Yo, the two of them want some pianos? <laughs> they got to do this in a bodega somewhere. I asked they y'all. They should do it in a barbershop, honestly. Yeah, that'd be hard. Actually. Savon, hand, hand me my Pele Pele jacket, man. <laughs> Let me get ready for this shit. Tie some paper eight, towels around AV. my forehead. The eight ball jacket? Really turn it up on these niggas. Savon ain't man. never seen no Pele Pele. He don't know never. what that look like. Savon just started coming outside this past decade. I don't know he's yelling. <laughs> I think Pele Pele's are coming, out, coming back. That's yeah. when he hit his first Miami club. Uh, 2014. <laughs> that's some young shit. Hey, nigga, nigga tapped his friends. Like, Yo, y'all want to go back to Miami? <laughs> nigga, that's Miami. <laughs> it's Miami. It's not a, hey, you want to go back to Miami? Just relax. <laughs> Heard of this place called Live? Yeah, just be cool. <laughs> Fuck. I asked y'all last week about uh, Ross versus 50, and that caused quite the stir. Did it? It did. It did. And oh, I, th- I think I Maul, Maul kind of ducked me, but it's cool. 
No, we could. Let's do it. I'm just waiting for you to tell me when. I said, I said on the internets that you talk to every day that I said whenever Maul is ready, I'm free. I'll make myself free. I thought it was supposed to be Thursday. I did too. Yeah. But he, uh, when you, when you I, think, I think, hold up. When you think of Roy, you think of a problem. <laughs> who, what, when, and how you gonna solve them? <laughs> snug Wait, or hold revolve up. Is Roy them. undefeated in these snug. battles? The snug. The snug. Are we gonna address Save that? On. Save on. Come in here, man. <laughs> no, we got to talk about it. Get this other. There's another microphone right Come here. Come in here. Yeah, there is. Sit, sit. I know Corey took your seat. Real quick. No, no you don't <laughs> deserve a seat. Stand up and talk, nigga. Yeah. Bend over in and the mic. And, 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 face, <laughs> and face the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Savon, the name of our last Keep your episode. Arms straight the whole time. You titled. What, what was it? Um, gotta go snug. Gotta go snug. Gotta go snug. S N U G. What does that mean? He thought we were soft. Yeah. I thought like it was snug, like it fit kind of tight. Oh, okay. you had car hearts do not fit snug. Savon thought Savon thought that joke. No. That makes sense. What hey, you ever seen a snug car heart? Do me a favor. Never in my life. Never in my life. Just go back in the kitchen. Just go back in the kitchen. Don't don't touch that mic again. Gotta go snug. Savon thought that Joe put on the large Carhartt jacket to go snuggle. You thought it was. You thought it fit tight. You thought to hold the gun, you needed something a little more form fitting. That's what he thought. Yo, Savon really took that lyric like a like a Just gap ad. Don't leave. The, <laughs> no, it's, it's a snug fit. Don't leave the kitchen. No, no. Don't leave the kitchen. Don't Joe, come. Don't Joe, come back in here. Joe then performed him shooting two people <laughs> while he was rapping the verse in the clothes store in the car hearts. <laughs> Yo, so listen. I asked y'all about Ross verse fifty last week. Caused quite the commotion. I'm here to. I'm here to. Uh, uh, Double down. Present something else to cause commotion. Mm-hmm. Uh, Battle of the South. Aren't they? Haven't they all been besides Fab and Jada? I feel like everyone's no, been from Atlanta. No, the only real battle we got was Ti when he ended Flip. <laughs> you were saying? You don't want to think back to that time? No, I, that was my time. See, that's another time we don't talk about enough. <laughs> that's when Ti was crazy for real. See, y'all talk about that nigga, whatever y'all say behind the scenes, but that nigga went down to Texas. Yeah, he pulled up. <laughs> yeah, he pulled up with fire, hey, with firearms. Hey, yeah. I know y'all might say whatever y'all want to say about his big words expeditiously. That's how they know him. Yeah. They, don't know, they don't know him when hey, the hat was leaning. Hey, he went to Texas. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, as soon as game over, game yeah. over. I know. Yeah, <laughs> they don't know beef to hey, DVD. Ti. Yeah. Hey, that nigga flip, flip, flip. Flip, 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 that was flip, shit? flip. That song was hard. That song was hard. That and Flip had one more joint that kind of made it over here that was kind of crazy. But song, the record with tip, the girls. Tip, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, no. Did Flip have a Beyonce record? No, no. He had the, what, he had the Sunshine he? record. Sunshine. Sunshine was the big one. Flip was rocking, man. I get T.I. He had a that few up. records. But Indy on his own shit, his own distribution, mm-hmm. like Flip, Flip was rocking. Please no, no, don't think sure. I'm making fun of Flip. Yeah. No, no, I'm no, not. No. Right. But, think, that, but that's my point. Ti went out there when this was a prominent person. Right. <laughs> yeah, he did. No, Flip yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, no, he, he did. He did. He did, he did um, all the chicks just like milk. He did nothing but spoil them. <laughs> Which was an insane. Bar. I don't. I don't know if you can beat Flip. I don't think I can. So, I really don't. Some of the shit you say on this pod, like I curb it when I don't know if I can handle it. Yeah. Like, I don't give the full review. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I think Flip is doing. I think Flip is doing yeah, some tech yeah, shit now. Yeah, He's doing well. Big him up. I always big Flip up. Yeah, I love that record. Yeah, I, I always put that in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> clean up. I always do. Okay, clean up. I, I mean, always do. Yeah, always. Like, Every day. <laughs> if anyone knows me. They, they know. You clean up? If they know me. Yeah. <laughs> Lights on everything. Yeah. Wake up every morning. <laughs> and clean up. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. That's, a, that's a well-known thing about me. Yeah. All, right. All right. You sage? Listen. You sage listen. every day? Listen, I, listen. Enough. Enough, enough. Uh, <laughs> sage in your house so you don't have rapper beef is hilarious. All right. Listen, my question to y'all is, Ross versus T.I. He did it over the time after time beat. Uh, Ross versus T.I. Yes, sir. That's that's happening? No, 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 no. Oh. That's when this well, 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 is remixing it. Well, let's will it to existence because a lot of these battles that have happened, we've guessed. That's a yeah. really good matchup, though. Ross and T.I. I saw T.I. Jeezy and that's then I saw that, Ross Jeezy yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah. We know you, you're going to pick Ross. Yeah, I got to go Ross. T.I.'s got fucking yeah, I don't know, huge man. records, though, man. I don't know. Without looking at shit? I'm, I might go T.I. in that one. Just because his, his his highs are high, got, and there's a lot of them. I got T.I. in that yeah. one. Yeah. And his not highs I'm are not still gonna, hard. I'm not even going <laughs> to say my next statement, because I don't want to piss them all off. No, that's here. What? What is it? You're piss me off? How? T.I.'s had bigger records. 
Way bigger records. Yeah. Now that I look, a lot I of think them. Ti records might make you look at some of the Ross records differently. Why? For the reasons that they both said. Like his highs are like his lo- his low highs are like I got my beat down low down low down. Right. Like that's not a high, but if it come on, dan, 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 all that tomb shit, yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's Shout just gonna, it's just gonna be tough. Yeah. It's just gonna be tough. Okay, I like Ross that. has catalog. Yeah, definitely has a catalog. Ross has catalog classics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a t- and and super hits. You know, Ti does. He has both. I don't. Yeah, I think I'm taking Ti. I'm taking Ti too. But if BMF versus what you know about that, I'm stumped. I'm stumped. I would like to see that though. I would like Ross, to see Ti in some type of battle. We, we deserve that. For yeah, they sure. were talking about Ti and Jeezy. I don't personally think that's the fairest battle. Why? I think Ti's discography of I guess Jeezy's, relevant shit. Yeah. It's Jeezy, no disrespect to Jeezy, of course. Jeezy's a little more cult, uh, cult classic yeah. in a way. Yeah. To, for, for, reign, tw- for 20 records, I agree with you. T.I.'s reign lasted a little bit more. I, I, I don't know. I don't think that's right. Ross has been here since hustling and not really moved maybe up until recent years, mm-hmm. which yeah. is now, and who cares? Yeah. Again, I don't, I don't judge rappers for, like, I don't believe in a fall-off today. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm not trying to bring that back up. Yeah, but it's a little different. Ross today. is not focused on fam. I, they shot Coming to America in my house. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> right. Honestly, like yeah. I don't, I don't. I'm, that's not an indictment. And he's on still making Ross. great music. Yeah. Or Jeezy, like Jeezy engaged. I ain't thinking about rap. Like when niggas just move on, I don't yeah. hold it against them. I don't. Yeah, and there's nothing the wrong with quote. I'm using air quotes. Ti like, retiring mm-hmm. to just making the shit you want to make. Yeah, Ti too. Ti last album was great. Nicki, Wayne, Drake, you name it, and they've moved on. Yeah, your dumb ass is just home waiting. <laughs> yeah. I think that now though, t- you know, because uh, because the way we we. Get, we get music now. I think a lot of these artists should continue to put out even it's little EPs, yeah. little five. See, I did that one. I think it was last year. It was yeah. phenomenal. Like it I was like great. shit like that. Like yeah, when like the, the the legends do that. Yeah, me too. Because it's kind of like I'm still active, but yeah. I'm not really going not hard. Nothing. Yeah, I'm not yeah. chasing my my shit is solidified already. This is what I'm doing. I'm bringing right. the live bass player in at every session. Exactly. The strings and I'm exactly. just talk my shit. And this is the best era. If you are a music person, a music head, yeah. this is the greatest time ever because you can be. literally have every song you ever loved, liked in your in your in your phone. Yeah, you know what I mean. So and for I, the creators, you don't have to chase things necessarily, especially right. if you're established. Like you can just put out the shit you want to put out, right. and people will listen to it or not, <clears throat> but probably listen to it. Right. No, you smoke that take. Tell them about the beat uh, pack you selling. <laughs> it's, a live, it's a live It's a live bass player selling. It's strings <laughs> This collection of hi-hats Will take you to the Nah uh, Nah that's not my, that's Come not on. my game that, that, that's I need that info right, I need forget. that infomercial right, though. I forget about Mario are you, If I do do are you, it I will do an infomercial Are you 20 though. years into the game And need some hi-hats <laughs> I'll have like Come to Parks the, Music The title's just scrolling Is this fab? Rap <laughs> Oh <laughs> My sister. <laughs> um, damn, what was we just all right? Parks don't want Parks don't want to give away the gems. Maul, tell them about the mixtape you dropping. You and Benny. I don't have a mixtape dropping. One hundred and fifty dollars a spot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a mixtape. Come on, a lot of fire on this one. Vlad supporting nah, it. Everybody. Man. I don't have a mixtape dropping. Not me. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> He's hosting. <laughs> DJ Vlad Ma- presents Masterclass mixtape. It's only if you in the masterclass of MCs. Mm-hmm. See how you switched like it? Yeah, there you go. I like that. I franchised like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's your branding right there, Mo. Oh, oh franchised it. <laughs> branding. Um, all right, off of the battles. I would love to hear Vlad's drops on that tape. Mo, tell us about your crimes. Off of the battles. Let's see. What else is happening here? Oh, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's stay on the new music to drop. Let's stay on the new music to drop. Uh, okay. Black, Black dropped out. the EP. A lot came out? Yeah, kind of. Oh, then you got to school me. Yeah. I, I yeah, don't, I don't some know. Some shit came out. Yeah. Black Black CP came out. The EP I had for a few weeks. Now everyone has it. Come on, man. It's Joe. Oh, oh y'all just heard it's that? Joe. <laughs> didn't know, Joe. Didn't realize it's it came old. out. It's, it's Joe. Well, no, Rory. I never assumed that me and the mortals got music at the of same time. Of course not. Mm. Why would you? Yeah, come on. Yo, y'all peeping that now. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, check it out. No, I'm glad you heard, I'm glad you heard <laughs> it, though. Uh, what do you think, you guys? Honestly. Uh, I liked, like, three joints on there that I really fuck with. Tough. Uh, long so nights. I guess that's good. It's only six records, right? So yeah. I guess that's that's a pretty, pretty good project. You guess, huh? Yeah. <laughs> long uh, nights and uh, elephant in the room were my my two facts. favorite. Best facts. Facts. 
Mm. What's your favorite? Uh, uh, Dr. Umar record? No, your favorite um, track off of the Six Black. I didn't particularly love the uh, EP, but it's cool. I think Black is. You didn't like super, any of the records? Not really. And it's no disrespect to him because I think he's super duper talented. No, no, no. I just all, still, all I the still judge it's mad, it's mad disrespect, I, actually. No, it's not. I judge ahead. everything that he's if, done. If, if, if I owe Flip yeah, an apology. I feel disrespected. <laughs> okay. And I'm not even black. I judge everything that he does off of Bear. And it hasn't got there again yet. That's all. I feel you. That's it. But I mean. What did you think about the mixing on 444? Four, four? Mm, you know what I mean? A little shaky. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about Kendrick and Dam? Uh, I, I grew to like Dam. Um, I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. And you ain't come back and time. tell me? I think I have said that before. Oh, okay. I'll take yeah. Parks. With you didn't it. like it at first? I didn't like it at first. No, so. that wasn't his bag. Parks, with everything going on in the current the Rachel, climate. It wasn't Rachel tension in the climate uh, that he went. The, Yo, damn, is not as well, bad no, as I thought. I like I like Butterfly. Well, that's, so I just felt like it was a safe I want to ask now, with everything going on, Parks, how do you feel about the J Electronica album? Uh, I haven't gone back to it. Has it mm. grown on you now? Mm. Have you gone back to it? I, of course. I said I loved it the day it came out. Oh, then And no. I texted everyone that morning when I sent my uh, little flip text out that I also <laughs> love J Electronica. I'll add you guys to the group chat. Oh, yeah. Please do. Ha ha. <laughs> you tried. It does, it does sound better, though. The album sounds better today. What's with the everything name going on. What's the name of that instrument? <laughs> Harmonica. Harmonica? You about yes. to get one? <laughs> I think I have a couple. Put what a, key you want? Put a harmonica. Is that in your B-pack? Put whole versions <laughs> yeah. with, with just a harmonica. Oh, from that album? <laughs> <laughs> what? Call it, and call it what? <laughs> harmonica Hove? J Harmonica? <laughs> I was trying to avoid... Yo, I'm joking around. Save. I'm joking around right now. I'm not beefing with Jay Electronica. I'm not offering a review on that album again. Think about it what you want. I have not gone back I do to have it. To go don't back listen to, to me. I haven't offered any. I today. don't know nothing about it. it I does. don't. I don't. It sounds better today. And I'm I'll talking, I might as well just admit to the audience, I don't go back to albums. Uh, it's, it's, it's very rare. <laughs> hey, very let me rare just tell. Hey, y'all think I'm some type of culture critic? No, it's, it's very, listen, it's very rare listen, to do that. Now, I don't though. listen to that yeah. bullshit. Not Jay Electronica. Yeah, no, I'm with you, I don't listen to none of this shit. If it's if I don't none like it, it, if I don't like it on the first two listens, yeah. I'm, not, I'm never going back to it. Hey, man, if I can't fuck yeah, to if it, you don't I'm like it, never man. listening to this. And shit, I, I, even I, shit that I like, I don't go back to. So much music comes out now. Yeah, you gotta make you gotta make me come back. What man? You gotta do something special. What? Yeah. What? Okay. It's man music coming out. That's yeah. true. <laughs> I've been told, told you guys this is a Shade Room podcast now. It's not a music no, podcast. No, it's not. That's, us three nah. don't do that. Yeah, we're yeah, talking no. about music. That, that's still you. Yeah. We're talking about music. <laughs> I, I don't do any <laughs> of it. We don't, we don't do that. Um, <laughs> no, I want to talk about music. You guys on the other hand. Well, none of us mentioned the Shade Room right here. It's awkward now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's your fault. Yeah. Great. <laughs> All right. Off of uh, Black, mm -hmm. I really liked Elephant in the Room. Yeah, it was my favorite one. No, that's my shit shit. It is. Should we play some shit shit? I was going to say, you're going to give me. Yeah, a... let me not do that after all that Mark's hate. <laughs> right? Clean up. Yeah, listen. Play, play some shit and convince me. Clean up an L7. Well, me playing one song on a <laughs> six song EP shouldn't convince you of anything. I'll speed it up a little bit. That might do it for you. Ah, uh, maybe that's That might have been a tempo, tempo issue. yeah, yeah. yeah. Not quite sure what he's saying, but anything you say in this key, I agree. <laughs> he's he's addressing the elephant in the room with his girlfriend that says, don't make me choose between me and my career because you're going to be upset at me because I'm not choosing you. Mm, I like it. He got his shit off on this one. Yeah, he said that first album, though. <laughs> <laughs> he's still trying to tell her. <laughs> she, she won't go anywhere. <laughs> hey, it's only his dumb ass talking about, oh, there's an elephant. No. <laughs> Elephant. We both are aware. <laughs> that shit is here. This song is hard though. Yeah, I like this song a lot. Wasn't feeling this box? <sighs> Listen, I hold that first album like of, of the him, Tiller, Tory, that whole kind of sound. His first album is my favorite out of all of them. Mm. So I hold him in a very high regard. I like, feel no, I respect it. Yeah. You feel him if Davido come on right now, right? 
On the la balle Don't do that. Parks oh. doesn't like it because it's in English. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. That's, that's a good point, right? Don't yeah. do that. Yeah. It's in English, so yeah. it's not really Parks' you, shit. You like it if Bad Baby come on right now, huh? The bad, you waiting for the Bad Baby remix? <laughs> That'd be a sick remix. Actually, while we're here, while we're here, normally a song comes out uh, that gets some acclaim. Uh, me and Rory vibe out to it, feel it on a, on a different level, and we come in here and we break it down. Mm. Unless it's a Drake song, then Maul will chime in. Mm. But I have a song that came out that I don't think we need. I don't think we need a collective lyric breakdown on. But I would love to play a verse from it and have y'all explain it to me. Great. I think this is a good what segment. Song now, one of my favorite, one of my favorite, one <laughs> I know of my City Girls came out this week, so mm. I'd love, love to do a lyric breakdown. <laughs> oh my god, JT. those are my favorite. Let's oh do a visual god, breakdown. JT, <laughs> what's wrong with you, man? Because I said, "Oh my god, JT." Yeah, she's a lyricist. He's, he's, he's into lyrics. He's, y'all, ain't, y'all ain't even peep JT. Check ice broke ass. I, peep, I didn't peep that. I didn't see that. She, she check ice broke ass. Damn. On the timeline, mm, I got erect. Because she checked ice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a wild kick, yeah, yeah. bro. What's <laughs> wrong with you, man? Listen, what you want me to do? Listen, JT said, "Listen, if you ain't paying no rent, take your broke ass home." Something like that. She ain't say that. Yeah. Something here, to the effect. Here come ice. Want to fucking answer like the nine to five man? Mm-hmm. Yo, now that I see this. Now that I see this, <laughs> yo, now that I see this, you, you, you already it? lost going all, in like that. All the chicks that are that be retweeting this, man, they the same chicks. JT, let me shut your broke ass up. <laughs> <laughs> shut your broke ass up. Hey, don't apply, nigga. Don't reply to it, nigga. Oh, man. You ain't down to pay no rent. Shut up, bitch. That's, I, like, that's right, JT. I'll pay some Atlanta rent. What you need? <laughs> <laughs> you think I won't trick it in land? I got six fifty on it. No, it's, it's, it's not. It's not six fifty for JT. If you pay in Atlanta, I'll pay you and, for pay chick, you that's and not your friend rent. That's thirteen hundred. That's not tricking. <laughs> hey, so what's six fifty times two? Paying for anything in Atlanta 13? is you not. It. Your math is good. Oh, I can pay for four friends and be at twenty <laughs> twenty six hundred. Hey, a little fucking executive crew of boyfriend appreciation. They would love me. Boyfriend appreciate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The executive board. They got approval on it. Look at JT shining on niggas. And Come you know, on. chicks in Atlanta fit about four or five women in a two bedroom. So now you, you add up those numbers. T. Roy always take it too far. <laughs> like, that's some white nigga shit. Don't clean it up. <laughs> Plus, not for nothing. You can't really talk about it when New York, they, they put four or five here in an apartment. So. Okay, never mind. We won't have any fun on this See, podcast. No, you guys got it. No, no, that's why you got <laughs> it. Now you're learning. Now you're learning. <laughs> now, no, now you're learning, buddy. They, they put four, no fun. They put four or five in 250 square feet. Well, that's so. why you, you got to be careful about tricking in New York. You can't play like that. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. Even when she says she's from the Bronx, you got to like, where at? Yeah, what, yeah. What, what's up? What's up? There's condos. There's condos in the South Bronx. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I love when the Bronx bitches tell, tell you they're from Riverdale. <laughs> Chill, Riverdale. That's part of it. Never mind. It's part of it. Look, it's the say, Bronx. Look, it's part Von, of it. Say, Von never even met a Riverdale chick, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what a peasant. Yo, get out of Long Island, get to Riverdale, park up and just look. <laughs> park up and just look, man. She got to have some money. All right, let's see. What else is going on that's important in the culture that we need to critique? Um, we was on music still. Yeah, we're talking, we're oh, music. Oh, the, uh, yeah, the song, the song, the song. Here, lyric breakdown from y'all. Oh, yeah. From right. y'all. A gentleman that I like a lot. A gentleman that I liked a lot dropped. And I'll be honest with you, Tuesday when I heard that August Alcina drop was dropping Friday, I got excited, but I ain't tell nobody. Mm. I really fuck with August Alcina shit. L- L- listen, I-, I, don't hear- I don't hear the respect on his name. That's right, Red Table Creator. <laughs> You're not wrong. He is wrong, Rory. Nah. nah the, red table- the Red Table was there when he got there. Nah, but it was, it, was nah. it was a different nah. color. Nah. But, but was there a need for it? Nah. It was just a table at that point. It was just a table. Oh, nah. Mo, how many red yeah, tables I'm you see? Sorry, seen? man. You, you see mad table. red tables. Y'all don't even remember that interview. Yes, I do. Yes. I don't. Bar for bar. I, I, remember, I remember them both speaking about it with no red table present on other outlets. And to me, that birthed. Red table talk because oh, clearly August Alcina needed somebody to talk to his ass. Yeah, he was coming out telling you, "Yo, I'm I, I want to end it. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be here unless it's with Jada." Right. He said that shit, and then we got that for eight months, and then voila, a show. It's like me and Love Hip Hop. Is that 
That's not how it happened. T- listen, I don't. Uh, Ma, I might be joking. Stop stepping on jokes. I'm not stepping on it. I'm just saying. I'll let you get Now, it. August Alcina is okay. He's great. Good to hear. And he put out an album of 26, 27 songs. It scared, me, it scared me away. Yeah, I can't listen. It scared to me away. No, I know. I know how people feel about long songs, especially our uh, long albums, especially from people that they might not all the way vibe with. I get it. That's a lot of shit. But August Alcina was the only man brave enough out of all of the mans. <laughs> Is he a man? He's a man's? August? One of the early mans. Ah. Okay. What was his first single? I love it, right? Did he uh, remi- yeah. did he, who'd he remix it with? Mans. Mans. Trey, yeah. Chris, all the mans. He was one of the first manses. Okay. I'm Before rolling. Drake was even saying man. I'm telling y'all, August doesn't he's, get the respect he <laughs> deserves. He's, 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 your man, he's your man's yeah. in them. He's yeah, them. Yeah, he's them. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, he's your so man's listen, in them. So he's August them. Alcina, yeah, he's, he's the only man brave enough to actually write, I don't know if he wrote it, but to put out a song that is telling his girlfriend why the side chick is more valuable than her. Oh, shit. At least that was my interpretation uh, of the song. I mean, but I could be wrong. Probably not the first. Because sometimes they say I'm toxic. Mm. No. And I want to be open to no name level enlightenment. Mm. So I'm going to play the second verse, and y'all can explain it for me. Maybe can you, can you he pull wasn't. Up these lyrics. Maybe he man? was not so daring. The name of this, this song is, like is "Feeling," off of August Alsina's new album. See, first of all, over the. Oh, oh, all right. Well, I, by the no, way, over, I'm sold already. Over the yeah, yeah, yeah. like oh, <laughs> you said I already words? agree with Fam. him. Yeah. He's right. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with him already. Yeah. So we're breaking down a second. When verse. the choir comes yeah. in, yeah. Like, it's that like, too? he's about to talk to you. It's like a fast choir. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> such a slow. Yeah, choir yeah. On Adderall. yeah not, not the first verse. <laughs> Adderall choir is nuts. No, they be fire. They were singing Adderall in the Harlem Boys Choir. No, we were not. <laughs> not Coke. They were selling it. All right, here we go. This is the chorus. Second verse. He still, doesn't. still sold. Because I never know what I'm feeling. They all say they respect your relationship and they tr- and they trust you. Mm. They're gonna tell on you. <laughs> <laughs> they can't wait to tell. Oh on my you. god! They DMing your they girl. They cannot wait. Right. As soon this. as that cash no, app don't they, hit, they tell them. They've already scripted up exactly what they're gonna send in the morning. I send it's the in cash. the draft. I send the cash app. The bitches still leave me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like um, request <laughs> refund request. Send it back. <laughs> yeah, send my shit back. Uh, hold up. Did y'all hear him? Met her in the strip club. Always there. Yeah. Mm. And I lust you. <laughs> he, he, was being, he was being honest. I'm, I, I'm still on board. <laughs> Damn, what a mistake. Yo. What man is brave enough to problems. tell the truth to the side girl that she's helping him? August. <laughs> and Mr. when I have Mr. problems, Alcina. you help yeah. me work through them. That's <laughs> supposed to be a secret. Right. Well, clearly he doesn't respect the, the secret side mm. person relationship. Well, we knew that when he was talking about the red table talk. <laughs> yeah. All right. I got to go back to that. Now that you say that, I got to go back to that. I, I remember the shit the he was job. doing. I got to go back. No, nah, I really don't. That's the only thing I didn't like. Let me let me let me share that. And while I'm expressing my fan fear for uh, August Alcina, I did not like how you behaved with that red table talk, misleading people to think it might have been something with him. Okay. And that was right. corny. I don't right. like that. Mm-hmm. But August Alcina music. Oh, no, Listen, this is a long album. It's 27 songs. I didn't purchase the album. I purchased the songs I liked from the album. I need this is not this is not Chris Brown where I'm just gonna buy your 40 songs. I need I'm not doing shit. that. What I, I purchased every song that I liked from the album al- enough to buy, mm-hmm. and if it exceeded the 10.99 purchase price, then I would have just bought the whole thing. But it didn't. Okay. So I bought about nine songs out of 27, and it's a nice collection of music. 
Okay. It is. So you still got nine ninety nine. That's cool. Yeah. For me, I'm and this is, I'm, I'm, I'm more of a, I'm more of a savvy, more trained ear. I don't expect everybody else to hear this. I, I mean, can, I can hear get, the difference. You between, get the music early, of course. Uh, come on, you know the vibes, bro. <laughs> I can hear the difference between major label August Alsina and Empire August Alsina, just in terms of the quality of songwriting. Is okay. he indie now? Uh, Especially song, with R and B, you can hear that. Yeah, for you, sure. yeah, you can hear it. So, a good portion of this he got in that bag. Mm. Okay. Where. Nah. Uh, but that's the dope shit about again how we get music now. You don't have to you can cut out the fat. Yeah. You know I like I mean? that. Yeah. So I do. I need the cheat sheet for this album though. What other uh what and other And you can you can release twenty seven songs on Empire. Trying to pay for twenty seven songs on a major, your budget is fucked. That's true. Chris Brown been doing it. Well what? Chris Brown is Chris Brown. one of the biggest <laughs> <laughs> pop stars of yeah, all time. Chris Brown, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh Buju Bantan have, put out an album. I saw that. It's Bo- pretty good. Buju. Buju. Oh yeah? Yeah. You listen to it? Yeah, it was good. good. Yeah, it was good. Oh, I'm gonna check that out. Um, City girls, we talked about. Come on, man. City boys here. We know. City boys, right here. We know. Uh, CeeLo snuck one out. He did. Uh, Black Keys produced it. Well, Dan from the Black Keys mm-hmm. produced it. Uh, listen, if you have to clean your crib on Sunday, that's the that's, yeah. that's the one. As soon as I put it on, I started cleaning. <laughs> that's I don't the know one. How it happened? It's super old school it's type shit. It's, it's really crib. good though. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, it's like it's, it, it. <laughs> Yeah it should still look the same It's been coming here for years <laughs> But nah I see low shit is good It is really good uh, all, all live instruments uh, Memphis soul sound Kind of thing But what happened to Gnarls? I don't know uh, uh, Gnarl- like why know. Gnarls Who, was Who's he now? Langston Galloway? Uh, he is Calloway What is Mod- it? Lang- Langston Modest Calloway Mouse. Thomas Calloway Oh uh, well, this uh, album. That's the name of the album. CeeLo oh, Green. Oh. CeeLo Green is. That's a classic. Oh, album. Thomas you Calloway. I didn't up. You don't even know the name of the album. Man, it's a black man. No, you're... And it's a black man. Dude, I'm but you, wrong. You're not I'm do... wrong. Come I'm on. Wrong. Come I'm on. Wrong. Come on. Listen, I, enough I, is I, enough I, now. I know when I'm wrong. <laughs> enough is enough now. I know when I'm wrong. We're not no, going to take I, it. I'm pretty sure he just said all lives matter. But no, CeeLo shit is good. I don't know what's going on with Narles Barkley. I would love for him and Danger Mouse to. Work again. Yeah, me too. That was a <laughs> classic <laughs> fucking album, but, man. I don't know what Danger Mouse has been doing. He's been working with the Black Keys, actually, which is interesting. Well, yeah, CeeLo got away from Super Valsetto CeeLo on this one. Yeah. Kind of lowered his tone. But yeah. I like it a lot. I, th- yeah. I think it's a good album. Me too. We're not going to take it? No. <laughs> this is for Parks from Blacks. <laughs> <laughs> from Blacks. <laughs> Yeah, look at it. Even here, white people taking our story. <laughs> it's, it's all we about got culture. the right to choose it. Nigga, y'all chose it. Yeah, and, <laughs> and stole it. Fuck is Twisted Sister talking about? Anyway, um, what else came out? What else came out? But Come the, on. But the statues. Buju, uh, Troy. Huh? <laughs> you had that mixtape in your half. Yes, you did. <laughs> don't you do that. <laughs> don't, don't ever... <laughs> there's some li- there's some lies I let you tell. Matter of fact, I kind of let you tell one? all the lies. Yeah, but that one, that one you never nah, gonna put, put on me. Down. Put your foot down, Rory. I never had Troy Ave as my Avi. You probably did. No, he did. He did. I beat the shit out of Troy Ave, nigga. I never put him in my Avi. <laughs> fuck is you talking about? Beat the fucking. By the way, I did. I did him. watch that bum what? ass episode of his podcast. <laughs> I got a podcast? I know, Joe. Joe shouldn't talk about it. I'll talk about it. I watched that episode last night and watched someone contradict themselves for 25 minutes. It was the most insane shit I've ever seen in my life. Troy Ave, I'll beat you up. <laughs> Bet 50 grand on that. The end. My 50 to your 50. Walk around a corner somewhere, and I'll put your face underneath a sewer, my nigga. Stop talking about me, honestly. I, I like that energy. For the niggas that keep talking about I'm telling you, I'm going to change it up. Well, I, I don't <laughs> even change. know what's going on. And you're not going to know. You're just okay. going to see him in a sewer. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. You ain't gonna know nothing. Okay, I ain't gonna come to I, Yo, let me tell you what this nigga did. You know, no, no, I, that I, ain't Joe. I just didn't know this where it was. Look at this nigga the Sue. Oh, shit. I just didn't know oh, where we was going. Oh, that's what I, I happened. Know, yeah, I heard podcasts yeah, and then I heard Sue. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, you heard fisticuffs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or you ain't hear a fucking thing. <laughs> I'm rolling. Okay. <laughs> Nice to know that bricks in my backpack is where Rory draws the line on the lies being told <laughs> about the narrative. Nah, that one you can't uh, it's, can't it's get that up. one off on me. All right, what else? What else? What else is happening that's um, super important Meg, in the Meg, world? Meg put out a record. Oh yeah, that's important. It's definitely important. That's important. I mean, you can't really lose with the 
Boys tell Club, the Easy tell E. People, tell the people, tell the people. I was getting to that. Oh. Uh, Meg put out a record over the Boys in the Hood Easy E record. And you, you can't lose with her twerking over that beat. Just Yeah, I'm okay I with have this. nothing bad to say. I'm okay with this. <laughs> I didn't no. even hear the record, but I love it. Well, you've heard Boys in the Hood before. I have. And I've heard Meg before. You know that beat is hard, and if you shake some ass over it, then <laughs> yeah. it's I'm a in. win. Sign me up. Yeah. But that wasn't what the commotion was about. Mm. Well, before we get there, and I'm not just putting this on Meg, it, it's kind of women in general. That's how I'm starting here. Rory Farrell. Uh, toxic. Or that's R-O-R-Y. <laughs> For the amount of women that look down on cheating, you guys sure do brag about fucking chicks men a lot. <laughs> Shit, that's where you at, Rory? Okay. <laughs> Just at this point. You sick I of it? Mean, you fed up? Points are made. <laughs> it's fine. This is not a misogynistic podcast. No. no. At all. Um, but I like the record. Uh, it, it did stir up some, uh, some tension with Easy es kids uh, when she announced it. Which, um, which, let me just say, if I'm Meg, I'm really excited about. The tension between the kids? Yeah. Why? All I put out was a clip of me shaking my ass over an Easy E beat, and now I have developed so much anticipation. I well, haven't said a word. The song came out, I thought, no, <clears throat> no, not originally. Uh, not, when, oh, no. not when all okay, this beef started. When, gotcha, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. not when the, the gotcha. teaser. It's just and this clip of gotcha. me shaking ass over the, the hardest. Yeah, yeah. just one of the greater. That was ever. enough. Mm-hmm. That was enough to to to. Bring back up whatever beef was prev- uh, present amongst Easy E's children, anyway. Right. But well, which is, I know you're not saying that, but be clear, you're not happy that Easy E's kids are beefing. No, I just don't want to I'm come not, across oh, that I'm way. I'm not to people saying listen. I'm happy about it. What I'm <laughs> yeah. saying is there was pre-existing tension With, between yeah. the children of Easy E, because rumor or legend has it or the kids say that there's just a beef there between who yeah it's family shit yeah that's none of my business so i don't right. want to speak on it right but i'll be honest with you some of the things that eb or ebby i'm not certain how yeah, to pronounce her name some of the stuff was. that she was saying was hurtful to me mm. like she was like that was the, the blow- follow-up this right. was the first no oh. uh ebby or eb again apologies for not pronouncing your name correctly this was this was the first one that came out. This wasn't the response from the other Megan, sister. Megan put some shit out. Reem, who is Easy E's daughter and apparently an artist. Yeah. Put I saw out, this. Put yeah. Out, yeah. This was the first thing that came out, which was I'm not mad at Meg. I'm mad at the fact that I, as Easy E's child, can't clear his music. Well, let, let me play it. I thought that that was valid. You can play it. That's very valid. I thought that that was super I'm valid. I'm bothered, super. and I don't really get bothered. But See, she don't even get I'm not bothered. bothered by these dope ass artists that's making these dope ass pieces of that's merch. Right, or these dope ass musicians that's making these dope ass songs. As long as y'all paying homage to my father, I fuck with it a hundred percent, right? What I'm bothered by is the people in the background that press the OK button and say, "Go ahead and drop it." We we co-sign. We write off on it because he got kids that y'all won't write shit off for. We've been trying forever. Y'all know how many times that people come to me and be like, "Re remake one of your damn songs. You dope as fuck. You gotta do that." No, you better. least you've been going hard when it come down to Black Lives Matter. We need that. The streets need that, and I can't. Stop it. I got siblings that be wanting to do so. That was her point. And in her point, she even spoke for more than just herself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which to me was like, all right, whatever tension exists between you and your sister, you and your sisters, you and the estate. Mm-hmm. You still are speaking on behalf of y'all is how I took it, one. And two, this was really eerie to me because this looks like easy e to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at this girl's face. Yeah. Like, I haven't kept up with all of the easy e drama with his children. and mm. I, I don't know. So I'm just seeing this and remembering the end of Straight Outta Compton, remembering some of the stories I heard about the end of Straight Outta Compton, some of the behind-the-scenes stuff about the, how the story was told. Yeah, and for me, this is the 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 result of it. Boy, this woman is easy. <laughs> like, yeah, and this is her without the Jerry curl, <laughs> because in her follow up video, she had a Jerry curl, and okay. then I couldn't even watch it. Then I said, "Oh shit, this is now creepy," and <laughs> I could see, I could see why. I don't know, but I could see why looking at this woman's face would anger somebody else if they're not resolved with some things. Is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at fam, look. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. No, you're not wrong. Fam, I don't even know if she's wearing this jerry curl on purpose, but <laughs> no, she, got, she, she got curly looks <laughs> like Easy E. Uh, I'm not certain of the beef here. I don't know who owns the estate. Reem's beef seems to be about who owns the estate and what they're able to clear. That's always not. a messy thing. And yeah. for me, I, someone should just let her know it's fucked up, baby girl. But that's how the business goes. If you don't own, if the, you're not cool with whoever owns the estate, now they're not clearing nothing for you. Mm-hmm. They I may mean, not feel like your record garners them enough <laughs> capital for them right. to go about it. Like, it broke it's up. a lot of shit that goes into that. And again, it's none of my business. It's personal for y'all. So I don't even want to speak on it. I don't know. It, I mean, it broke up her father's group. Paperwork was a problem from the original start of NWA. True. What this did for me was I didn't focus on NWA and I didn't focus on Easy E. I focused on sibling rivalries. Roy, you're an only child, right? Am, so you yeah. can't really speak to that. Parks, do you have siblings? Two sisters. Yeah. Roy, uh, Maul, you have siblings, but not a brother. I mean, yeah, you have brothers. Duh. Yeah, one of fucking, them, uh, uh, start, they just had an anniversary. They just started some some low record label, label right? whatever the fuck yeah. it was. For me, and maybe this pod is not even the place to discuss it, but there are plenty of conversations to be had about dad that has two families. Hmm. Yeah, it can be some tension. And it's unfortunate. Especially when you put business in that. It's mm-hmm. already tension because... Yeah, before we even get to you business... Might, you might feel like you were slighted being raised, like he wasn't yeah, around for dad, us as much as he was dad around for y'all. maybe left your mom. Not easy. I'm not talking... I'm no longer no, no, discussing no, no. this because yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm broadening this scope. Yeah, yeah, family stuff. Dad may have left your mom and been a stand-up guy to new family. Right. Mm-hmm. And is raising new family... Mm-hmm. Like your mom thought y'all should have been mm-hmm. like. There's a lot of there's just a yeah. lot of shit that goes into that. And you right. could resent your siblings strictly off what they were given. You could resent the nigga that left, and now your kid that looks like homeboy you resent when you look at. Mm-hmm. This gets really deep. Mm-hmm. And then you put business in between that, estates and yeah, anything that we money, say yeah. add business on top of it, yeah. and it's a mess. Yeah. yeah, it's a mess. It hurt me when when the EB when when the EB young lady was like, "Fam, you never even met my dad. You never met my I, dad. You I never knew was... my dad. My dad never claimed you. You might well, be blood, young. but you not family. It don't. I thought that was unfair. Listen, it's not right. It's, yeah, it's not right. It's yeah. not right. Yeah. You don't say shit if like they that. never spoke, and if all of that is true, mm-hmm. that's not right. Yeah, yeah, and that's not her fault. And for me, with very limited information, because I haven't been following this, Mm -hmm. what I do know of it is the EB girl attacks this girl a lot. (laughs) Sibling shit, yeah. That hurts me. That that hurts me. Unfortunately, that's part of... Even as somebody that don't maybe don't speak to his little brother the way that he should, Mm -hmm. I would never fix my mouth to say something that hurtful, that vengeful... And that malicious. But you know that comes from years of, you know, pent up anger. And, and then Evie's mom jumped in, of course, and and supported it, of course. Mm. And for me, that was like, fam, fam, this ain't it, this ain't it. Meg ain't said a word. This song ain't topped Billboard charts. There's not even anything to fight over right now. All people are doing is loving your dad. Mm. He gave so much to all of us. Me, man, me, man, me. Like, man, me. Right. I'm saying man, me, because there was a point in time where I didn't get it. Mm-hmm. At 11, 10, why is this nigga the man? It had to be explained to me. I had to grow up into, oh, oh, that's what Easy e is doing. Right. Hey, when he wasn't doing that so much and Bone Thugs, came, oh, yeah. it's different. It's different. Executive bag now. Hey, that didn't work. We on to this now. That carried over. I was in high school. I was able to understand. This is hurtful to see. It is. And on top of that, they both agree with each other. They're both fighting for the estate of their father for their siblings, like for for his children. They're both fighting for it. And then another sister came out and started attacking one of these sisters. It was so much beef that I don't know which sister she was attacking. I don't know if she was speaking up for Reem or if she was speaking up for E.B. Or Ebby. I'm not trying to be funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I don't know, man, but it's really unfortunate. Rest in peace, Easy e We love you. We miss mm-hmm. you. Thank you for all of your contributions. I think it's amazing that I even get to look at your daughters. 
Yeah. Like, that's how big of a part in hip-hop you have played to me. The fact that I am of age watching my son go through this and watching your daughters go through this. Watching so many people that I was a fan of, children, attempt to navigate through this. And it's difficult. I'm not going to judge any of them. Mm -hmm. Trust me. I get it. At 21, 22, 23, 24, all the way to maybe 29, trying to digest and understand what the music business was attempting to do for me and to me. For me and to me, hmm. I don't judge these young ladies. I hope that they can squash this behind the scenes. I hope this doesn't have to continue to be a public spectacle because all of us love your dad. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Everybody. It's one of those names. Like, it. this doesn't make anyone feel good to see is what I'm attempting to say. That, that's what yeah. I'm trying to say. I know y'all be letting me rock when I go off on these tangents, yeah, no, but that's yeah, no, what that I'm well trying said, to well said, say. Yeah. And, and I hope outside of the, the sibling them coming together I hope they can find something legally to be able to get his estate yeah, because I agree they, they should, should capitalize his, his, his kids should definitely that's my father and yes. even if they can't they should be able to capitalize of course of they that. should it's the same reason I was crying about De La Soul and their their agreement like no we clowned you but we understood yeah, like, yeah. it sucks y'all shouldn't clown me when y'all understand y'all should say <laughs> no, that's the best time to clown say, but y'all before y'all do that though y'all should say y'all understand and then we get to the jokes because if y'all just clown, like people don't, y'all voices are too important now. Like You're we right. we passed that. It's funny to us because we get it all. Right. These niggas don't get shit. Like yeah, they but, be needing somebody to explain the difference between just right and wrong. I know that sounds nuts in 2020, but it's true. Uh, and if we're not gonna do that, you know, for me, that's what we spent 2016, 2017 fighting for the older heads and the younger heads about. What mm -hmm. information we give them, how we give it to them, mm -hmm. how we treat them, how we view them. In 2020, tw hey, check this out. 2020 is over. How about that part? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We all still trying to get adjusted to 2020, and this shit is a wrap. 2021 is here. Hey, you want to go on tour? We're not in this year anymore. You want to shop, spend recklessly? That's not a 2020 plan anymore. Hey, you want to have dinner? It's a 2021 type of thing, if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I get it. now is not this. Now is not this. The same thing, the same point that I made with M and us and whoever was involved in that last week, the same thing applies here. It pains me to see it, and I hope that they can rectify it. That's my word. Get it. That's what I got. Am I? Well said. Well, very well said. What else we got? What else we got? What else is important? Uh, this is kind of random, but it just happened. Uh, Kanye put out a tweet that a appears to say that he's working on a joint project with Dr. Dre. Um, he's he been, that's he, been semi-announced. Yeah, but I feel like all those things are like, oh, we heard they're working together. It must be an album, and then we never hear anything ever again. Right. Um, but he did a very Kanye thing where you can't really understand. It's a picture of a red cup with juice on a rug that says, I'm sorry, Dr. Dre, and he spelt it out, literally, Dr. Dre. I spilt these three drops of orange juice mixed with um while we're finishing uh, our first project. Worst day ever is the hashtag. Um, and more Kanye use uh, and more Kanye news before we expound on on this topic Rory brought up. Kanye, let me hit the round of applause because Kanye Kanye did a deal with Adidas, a ten year deal. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's lucrative. I understand what is happening there. Congratulations to Kanye West. Amazing way to continue to build upon an empire that's already dominant in this culture. Yeah, you said you talking about the gap. Yeah, or, yeah, you yeah. said you said Adidas. Oh, I'm sorry. Which I he already gap. had. Yeah, right? I meant Gap. Yeah. I yeah. meant ten year deal with uh, Gap, Yeezy, Gap, some of those fucking funny looking sweatshirts and all that bullshit that the white people like that the whites like. Um, <laughs> good for I, them. I think everyone, everyone so, likes so, the Yeezy so line. Off, everyone doesn't. I think you could find anyone from any race that would like the Yeezy collection. Is what I'm saying. Oh, of course not. Everyone <laughs> likes it, but Got not it. just the whites. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, Everyone likes the Got easy it. collection. Got it. Started with the whites. <laughs> <laughs> Started with the whites. <laughs> I'm talking shit. Um, so That's we have more. Deal. So we have. It's super big deal. Super big deal. And I'm, and Gap needs that. Gap needs a redo. He, he enough, a, enough of the little kids with book bags. He made running a whole around. song about getting mm. fired from the Gap for stealing clothes or something like that, and now has a yeah. yeah. Spaceships. I didn't even think about that part. I used to work at the Gap. Spaceships. Yeah. The, oh, that's the super video hard. that never came out that ended up like leaking. I never saw it. There's a spaceships video. It's super undone. Like shit isn't even rendered. It's all fucked up. But <laughs> it's him working in the Gap. 
Oh, GLC wow. and Consequence are in the break room. It's a, it's a really good video on the low. They wow. never put that out because it was for the dweebs. <laughs> you see, Rory know all about it. Got, and at the end, Consequence. Shut up. up. Oh, are you still bitter? No. Bitter about what? I you're I'm still dweeb. bitter. I'm one. <laughs> Some dweeb <laughs> shit. I'm one. You can't be bitter and win. But this conversation here, There's more such, Kanye announcements. Such thing as a sore winner. <laughs> That's true. It does exist. It's okay, though. Get your shit off. You keep trying to come at me today. I, I I'm minding my business over here. You like, you, I'm literally been minding my business this whole podcast. You said you was here to pod. I got to test you. <laughs> I got to test you. Um, this announcement from Kanye about the Dre and Kanye collaboration, I don't have very much information about it, but I do have a question to present to you, gentlemen. Mm. Who gets final say on that project, if it exists? Final say meaning they're both producers. They're both some of the best producers we've ever had here. Who gets the stems to make the final calls on arrangement and how things should sound? Um, I would say Dre, but I don't believe in like a monopoly in making music. You know what I'm saying? Like if 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 it, like when we were working together, you, me, and Amani were all executive producers. It's still your project. You get the final say in what happens. Mm-hmm. Like just because other people are working with you as producers, engineers, whatever it may be, they don't get the final say you can mm. say turn up the snare or you can say let's put a guitar here or whatever especially when There's you no, when you're a producer like Kanye yeah it's not like you some new kid that's just working on a project music is not a a, a, a dictatorship however right. it's treated like that I was going to I would trust Dr. Dre with my stems oh, yeah. every time yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean he's one of the best engineers yeah. and producers in right. music history it's a safe it's yeah. a safe you can leave that Play in his hands Here's the right. at the okay. plate. Here's, we here's will why have a challenge. Kanye. Kanye should take those stems and have the final say to some degree. Of course, collaborative process. Right. Kanye should because it will it'll come out. That's a good point. I mean, you say it will come out. What do Yes, it'll actually come out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dr. Dre, it's it takes 15 years for anything to even kind of come out for Dr. Dre. That's valid. At least Agreed. with Kanye, if I give you this. There will be a decision, and this music will be heard. Agreed. That's very valid. I agree with that. Very valid. I would say, uh, again, I don't see why Kanye would be mad at Dr. Dre mixing his album. That sounds That's, like the perfect <laughs> yeah. scenario. I mean, <laughs> does he? Is well, he going to have input for sh- stems? Sure. Doesn't necessarily just mean that you're going to master or mix it. You am can I, change things. Am right. I in the Matrix? No, talk. I'm not right. Okay, Explain yourself. I just want to make hey, sure. Good. Who cares about what y'all are saying right now? I'm adding everything that y'all know to exist in artists, especially artists of these ma- this magnitude, uh-huh. both of them. So we're adding ego. Right. We're, I'm, I'm trying to see that conversation play out. You three gentlemen are giving me both sides of the gentleman's argument, which it's Dre and Kanye, so we both get. Yeah. I'm trying to get from y'all that in that conversation of Kanye West saying to Dr. Dre, Hey, it's not send, how you painted the question. send me the stems. All right, well, then let me fix it for you. <laughs> yeah. It's like you asked hey. who would do it, and I said Kanye because it would come out. I answered your question directly. Now, re- reword your question. We can go where you want to go. Awesome. If the two gentlemen that we're speaking about, the two gentlemen that I asked you about, uh-huh. were to have a conversation, the conversation I asked you about, about who gets final say in the stems, how does that conversation go in real life? Not the side of the argument that both of the gentlemen have. You could, if Kanye says to Dre, you, hey, we worked on 12 joints. I'm Dr. Dre? Yeah. So. You Dre. I don't want to be Kanye in this <laughs> argument, but let's do it. Yeah. You be Dre. Okay. I'll be Kanye. Yo, the shit we worked on 12 joints, that shit was crazy. Right. Yo, can you got my email? Can you send them to me? Uh, for what? That's the conversation I'm, I want. We're, we're, we're doing a uh, from hypothetical situation from we know from the two. Hypothetical, of course. We don't. We know nothing about this. We're, if you want to do a joint project with me, yes, send me the stems. Yeah, we're doing I, a joint project together. It's a joint project. Fuck out of here. And I'm Kanye. <laughs> like it's not like another important question would be: Do they have any type of paperwork? Let's leave all that out. Let's just I talk mean, about no, producers. That's, 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 I don't know. That's an important no, thing. No, no, of yeah. course it is. I'm saying let's just say producers. If I'm, if I'm Dre and I do all this stuff and then Kanye says, hey, send me the stems and we don't have any type of written formal agreement whatsoever and you can just take the stems and put them out and do whatever you want with them. 
No, I would have an issue Some, with sending something. Something tells me when Kanye goes in to create, he doesn't have paperwork on the side of the table. I'm sure. Something, <laughs> something tells me that both of their names work against that. Like, you're not playing that game with Dre. You <laughs> you're not no, that no, I don't think Kanye. No one's with putting Kanye. out Dre shit yeah, without no, Dre. I don't like, think so. I don't think Kanye would just release music. If Kanye comes Dre. to me as Dre and says, hey, we just worked on some shit. Can you send me the stems over? And I'm Dre. I'm never sending you a stem. I'm just letting Maul and Rory know that. That as Dre, yeah, no. I'm not. Not only am I offended by what you're saying, we should, we should I'm do a joint never project sending you anything. Yeah, we shouldn't. But we worked on some shit. And I have carte blanche here because yeah. I'm Dre. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Okay, and that's Kanye. Kanye hasn't done what Dre's done. And Dre hasn't done what Kanye has done. That's not true. That's, that's a, very no, that's true. That's a fact. We it's not a comparable about? thing. We're not talking I'm about some just fly by the night what? artist. This is Kanye West. No doubt. It's not Dre. But it's not Dre. <laughs> Dre has been Dre. putting out, uh, as a producer, engineer, and record executive and rapper since 1987, top fucking okay. uh, critical I, and selling I don't, music. I don't, I, don't okay. think, I, I don't even think Kanye would have this argument. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait, hold on. What, that, I don't even understand the argument y'all are bringing up. We in 2020 now. Kanye West can very well Dre ask anyone on earth for the stems Kanye of what's going West, on right Kanye now. Kanye West is not Dr. Dre in 2020. That's my opinion. I'm not arguing. You're comparing accolades of that. Of course, Dr. Dre is going to... Dr. Dre will probably beat any producer, period, if you're going to go accolade for accolade. We're talking yeah. about the current state of music now. Yes, Kanye West should have the stems for a joint project with anyone on earth. I'm not talking... See, no. And that's where I think our... <laughs> that's where our distinction comes in at. For me, I'm never leaving the I'm the most accomplished producer on earth argument. I'm also not, I'm not leaving... I'm not going into the, hey, it's 2020, it's now, joint project, yo, you know some shit that's fly today. Like, I'm not getting to that. I am the most accomplished you, producer in the world. You also I'm, keep I'm using leaving, the word joint. I'm not leaving it's a joint the most, project. I'm not leaving the most important part out. Is the question for what? What do you need to do? Because I will uh, uh, accommodate you. That's a, for, fa- that's a safe yeah. question. I'm, for, I'm, I'm not mad at you, that. What do you need stems for? Yeah. Like, oh. oh, you want to add some stuff? That's, okay, that's part of a joint like, project. I can give you, yeah, but, but the stems should no, be there. I just need no, to know what you want to do with them. That's not true. You're, that's not true. We could do a joint project, and you can have nothing to do with the stems. Uh, it's not in this case because, because it's not, not it's a not a rapper and a producer yeah. strictly doing a, I could, I could, an album I, together. I could argue that. When's the last time Kanye rapped or produced? Let, let's let's first of all, all right, let's, well, let's, how, I, about, how about that? Hold part? On, no, answer right, it. Let's okay. answer it. When is the last time? <laughs> let's, let's when is take the last time Dre did? People said that about Dre too. So don't even go there. <laughs> when is the last time Dre? Like, can let's I respond let's to that? Spade, can I respond to that? Spade. Wait, wait, you won't let me respond. When did Dre do it? You won't let me respond. I see where we're going. Like, I understand. Listen, I love Dre like everybody else. I grew up on his music, but we gotta stop acting like Dr. Dre is this figure that nobody like. He's the Wizard of Oz. Like, you can't even get to him. But he is. He is. In 2020. Yes. The, if I'm in the room, it's a reason he's in that room with Kanye. West. There's a reason. Let's, he, let's, there's let's a, be there, clear. There's a reason. It's a reason Kanye is in that room first a, and foremost. There's a reason he has the stems. <laughs> no, we, no, we just making up a, a, a argument. There's we don't, a reason. We don't know that, if he has the stems. Yeah, we don't know shit. Yeah. Right. So what I'm saying is, this. Let's keep it clear. There's a reason he has a cup of orange juice on Dr. Dre's carpet. No doubt. He's Kanye West. We're not going to just act like he's some dude that can't ask Dr. Dre for some stems to some music <laughs> they both worked on. But he could ask for what. He can. If he's doing a joint project. Of course he can. I, I hear you, man. But I'm just saying, I, y'all I, acting like I, nobody exa- can ask Dr. That's, Dre anything. That is exactly how I'm acting. Like, no. I, 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 that, that is we're exactly the way I'm acting. That. We're not doing Sorry, that. I know that you we have accomplished a lot, Kanye. Boy, those sneakers are hot. I, no. I am Dr. Dre, yeah. nigga, and would, you are a little no-name Chicago nigga to me ooh, still. No, Kanye. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He's not doing that. And that's not how Dre feels either. Kanye is some no-name Chicago nigga to Dr. Dre. There's no way Dre feels that. We're not doing that. Okay. Well, I said that. Don't say Dre didn't say that. I know that. I'm just I'm talking to yeah, you. It's a reason you. Kanye is in that room. First and foremost. Facts. First and foremost. Facts. So we can't we can't Kanye act like he's one of the most brilliant producers and artists. All right. So then let's start talking lives. like he is then. Let's just start talking like he is. That's and what I'm saying. Oh, wait, wait. Let me reply. Point, let me no, let me reply to that. Let me, re- let me reply. That. Let me reply to what uh Maul is saying. Because what you're saying is not countering what I'm saying. Facts on what you just said about Kanye West. One of the greatest producers in the world. Let's take this off of Kanye. Mine and Park's argument is not a slight to Kanye. We're saying that Dre is Dre. What that, what that means to us mm-hmm. is if you put any producer in there, put Pharrell, put put any put any put Quincy, put whoever the fuck you want to put there. I'm not saying put Quincy. Well, 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 but I'm uh, saying I was about to say that. But what now I'm you saying now you get what, Quincy's name my point like is Dre. I am certain feels like. Hey, all of these niggas 
are my kids. I'm certain of that. And not only, this is the other thing, too, in a collaborative uh, standpoint. Then don't is, collaborate with me. No, no, huh? that's not true. No. Hov felt like Kanye was his kid and he collaborated. Dude, don't do that, Rory. And, and who did he let control that. the whole project? At a time, yeah. Kanye West. That but, Watch but, the Throne but, album, he let Kanye question, cook the whole the, time. The, the important question still is, what are you going to do with him? Because what... Why can't we do it here at my studio? I, why can't fine, we do it I agree, together? I agree with that. Okay, that's we have cool. all the money. Dre, and the way y'all said we why, need like, in the entire world. No, but the way y'all presented the why when someone was like, says, why? I want I'm all the Dr. stems. Dre, it feels like, it can it can sometimes. As someone who deals with stems a lot, when someone asks for the stems, it can feel shady sometimes. Like, okay, what are you about to do? That's fine. But the, the the original why that y'all presented made it sound like Kanye shouldn't even be talking to Dr. Dre like that. Even though and that's the problem. Asked I had. to do a collaborative do that. My question to you, gentlemen. The better, and this is for you guys personally, not our opinions mm-hmm. of this shit we don't know about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The better album comes about by who having the final say on the stems. Dr. Dre. I don't know. Uh, what we had, The Chronic? All right, forget it. Forget it. Never mind. Never the Chronic mind. and some and Eminem here's, projects. Here's, and, and, here's why and, I don't okay. know. Because Kanye the last, got the last classic good. Yeah, but Kanye has classic albums. Absolutely. Has classic Absolutely. Music. Well, the Jesus uh, is king when I like the production. But the the Ye album was horrible. Uh, Pablo was good. I liked the Compton album. You you liked it a lot. We of liked it a lot. The Compton album is boy phenomenal. And we wasn't supposed to like it a lot. <laughs> the Compton album. It was supposed yeah, to. These, we, are, these we, are still we, two we legendary was, We was waiting dudes. for detox, like, and I'm Compton not, sufficed. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fact. That's it. But I kind of back to my original point of this shit will actually come out if Kanye gets the stems. Like we'll get it. It won't just sit in Dre, and we know how Dre works. Dre works on something for years and years and years and years, and he'll probably fall out of love with it by the time it's ready to go out. But yeah, also, send me the fucking stem so I can finish this no, record. No, but it also depends, because you can't say that all the time, because Kendrick came out, 50, a lot of things came out. The things that Dre uh, were waiting on, the, the, the horror stories, quote-unquote, are from people that were uh, usually kind of up-and-coming artists that maybe never, like, uh, what was his name, uh, King T and... Um, the other dude that was all over the chronic, I can't remember his name, pardon me for forgetting him, blanking. But. And Joel, like it's jo- a bunch yeah, of those. A, um, yeah, like it's a bunch of those. People that were coming up. Like, yeah, you but, didn't but all of those, for it. Uh, a lot of those projects, of course, were overseen by Dre, and that's a Dre executive pr- production with TDE and all that stuff. Yeah. A lot, let's be a lot of that is pushed with that internal camp and that artist wanting to put that out. Sure. Had it been Dre's decision, I'm sure it would be sitting there forever. You know, I'm just saying, let's my, not you know act my, like Kanye can't. No, my final question. No, my Dre. final argument here is: Tiana got away from Kanye having the stems, and it worked out for her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there are people that, when they get away from whatever creative genius he has, mm-hmm. it still works out for them. Yeah. And okay. if there's one person that I would bet on in that equation. I would think Dre it would work out for no matter what Kanye has to say. And I don't think that that applies the other way around. I don't uh, think if I give Kanye full control that 100% no matter what happens this works out. I think Kanye Dre's. has I think that's different. I think Kanye has a different respect and 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 you know passion with working with Dr. Dre as opposed to Tiana. Tiana's still kind of like a new artist, a new act. Because the part Dre that these Kanye niggas solidified. never talk about is Kanye is in the apparel business. Mm. Facts. It's in the music business too, though. I know, but he's he's an apparel guy now. Yeah, that's and, a fact. I mean, that's I mean, that's yeah. not even Dre an is an apparel, apparel guy like, as well. Like y'all are talking about Kanye, is a tech Kanye, guy. Kanye, and Dre. You you can't. That's is, not, is Dre that's, not in the electronic business? That, none, that's not fact based. Hmm? Steve, uh, that's not fact based. Steve Jobs is dead. Jimmy Iovine is no longer with Apple. That Beats deal. Uh, I won't say what I know about it. But no, that's not fact based. We don't know that they're in business at all. Oh well, we they, know, they we did know, the biggest business. They sold, they, a, yeah, they, sold they, they sold did the some biggest business in. They, they sold some shit and they got their shit off. Yeah, <laughs> as what, they should. What, all right. So, <laughs> what was the last the last big major deal that Dre did to make money? When I think about Dre musically, I go back to Compton, like you just said. I'm saying the most money because Kanye is clearly in the apparel business, and uh, to your point, you're probably right. I don't. I've never seen Dre pump beats like that anymore as well. But the last big chunk of change that Dre made in the billions, what was the last no, deal we the saw? The only Dre? Ch- chunk of change that he made in the billions was the headphones. It was his last deal. And to be clear, that was, was in the that tech was business. Him selling his business. So, and I don't know what which his was involvement a tech, which was, was a tech that, business. But that was a sale okay, of the okay, business. Okay, for me, Not and okay. I'll say this in closing, I don't know if we've dragged this out too long. You're right. I see the point that you're making. 
Kanye's in apparel. Drake, for all the sound, purposes, could sound be and in sound and tech. That guy pushed somebody through in 89, in 92, in 99, in 03, and in 09. So Great. my trust level with that person's focus being somewhere else and still being a top tier executive is the same. I cannot say that same thing for Kanye. I can say his apparel business is the best around and Adidas Kanye's in fails the, without him. Kanye's in the influence influ, influencer business. Who has he created? Dre, Dre just also had, like, coming back to the basic point, it stems. Dre has the best sounding music. Possibly, period. I, I think in the history of like music, Kanye, like takes as far as his mixing Sam's music, Timbaland and all these other. Niggas. I'm not sure that anybody's ever had better music music uh, mixes than. Kanye. I don't want I us to get too geeky. So I know. Let's close. And, 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 quick, and, no, no. and, and super quickly, which go ahead. Rock out, answer, rock out. Rock out. Stems does, doesn't necessarily mean Kanye wants to mix this. He could want to change things in the song, which I think Kanye West has every last right, no matter who of the course. producer See, is, wait, to for, for, change hey, a record, no wait. matter who you're talking to. And, and your point that you just made, Rory, is why I don't think you should have made the prior argument at all. Because for me, it's a fact. Dr. Dre should have final say on the stems. It may be a better argument that Kanye West has final say on the songs. Because I agree with you there, mm -hmm. what you just said. Final say on the stems is not final say on the product. That was never True. your original question, though, <laughs> Joe. So that's why I made that argument. Your question was, can Dr. Dre the or stems. can Kanye ask for the stems to a collaborative project with Dr. Dre and Kanye West? Yes. Kanye West has every right and has every accolade to ask Dr. Dre you to can, let me mess with this you, record. You can ask for it. <laughs> I'm not saying he's going to get it. <laughs> you can ask for uh, it, God damn it. I'm not saying Dre he's going to get it. Dre has every right to it, say for what? Yeah, sorry. You're, oh, no, you're never saying. Hey, your stems are with the detox stems. Y'all was making it sound like he can't even, he shouldn't even question. Yeah, like, I'm that's like, the only problem I had. That's how I feel. Like, no, how dare on, Kanye West like during Kanye, a, a yeah. collab project no. ask to mess LA, with some stems? <laughs> yeah, but you can't. But I mean, some people, you know, you want to go home. Kanye can ask Dr. Dre for the stems. You can ask him whatever you want. Absolutely. That's all I'm saying. All right, what else we got? And with, and with two people that work with so many artists. A little hip-hop nerdy conversation. Hey, while we on, Kanye, Kid Cudi is starting a podcast about planets and shit. That's not what he said. <laughs> what he said? The moon. The moon. He it's said he's, he's creating a podcast. He gave us nine albums about the moon. Hey, the moon is, you know... The moon's he, important. People seem to there. like it. Rory, you look at the moon every night. Rory, 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 Rory gets so pink anytime we bring Cuddy. Go ahead. I'm not even the Cuddy <laughs> fan. Y'all just disrespect him so much. I have to say something. I like Cuddy. I, like, I love I'm, Cuddy. I, 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 love I, Cuddy. I, I don't disrespect Cuddy. I like Cuddy. I mean, y'all be getting I, a little spicy I know his when you get influence on a lot. You don't of these put the artists. respect that he deserves. I don't put respect on none of the niggas that you hipster niggas ushered in. You're a hipster. I'm not. They talk about the same things you talked about. No. You was the first one to do it what makes you even more hipster. He ain't talking about the moon. <laughs> Joe never talked about the I moon. I never cared about the moon. <laughs> even when T.I. said, look, it's a dog barking at the you moon. You talk like, about wait, being wait, a what? Virgo every five fucking <laughs> wait, minutes. Wait, All you what? care about what? is space. What? what the dog was doing to the moon? I didn't know what that means. Yeah, Joe, I never you, you way too into astrology. That's what I'm saying. Too. All you say is I'm a Virgo. You, you know, know when you care about is space. You know when your moon is entering the third like yeah, semester. I don't want to August. Yeah, like you know when your moon is entering its third semester in college and all that other stuff. All of that shit is great to Joe. Y'all saying there's a whole group of rappers that have maintained a career for a long time by being friends with niggas. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. Relationships. Oh, suck my dick. Yeah, relationships. Suck, that's what it does. Are you suggesting that <laughs> yeah. about Kid be, Cudi? Be a real nigga and stand on your own too. How about that? Uh, no, 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 no. I am broadening our conversation. <laughs> I am not saying that about. So Kid where did that? Cudi. I mean, you just. But even about what are you going to do? Say something. The fuck are you doing? He got a podcast. He's going to put you in the rap back. He got a podcast. He got a podcast now. He's going to hum you to death. He got a podcast now. <laughs> he has a platform. Be careful. Hey, that's two niggas I got to beat yeah, up there. Yeah, there you go. See? No, no, I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm joking about Kid Cudi because Kid Cudi is great anytime I met him. He's great. Yeah. He's great. He's cool, awesome. Cool, great cool, guy. Cool. Great guy. Please don't get Joe's asshole ass confused with Cudi hey, being a great guy. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of asses and holes. It was weird. <laughs> it just, come on. Cudi's first album was a classic. I, I love Cudi. I can't lead us. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be curious to uh, his, hear what a uh, his podcast, podcast he says. Why y'all ain't Wall Parks? He's curious about things. Fuck out of here. <laughs> well, Cuddy is a legend, unbeknownst to you. So mm. he's curious. Mm. What well, now, Joe? <laughs> <laughs>
His podcast, according the to him, why I hope will is be of all. Cutting. I see. I see it. I see the double entendre. <laughs> all love, no shit talking. Shot at Joe right away. Only uplifting artist. Shot at Joe right away. Right. And talking with my friends. Shot at Joe right away. <laughs> and fans. Shot at Joe right away. See, that's why I know you're not really a Cuddy fan. Cause you go to the, you know what I mean. This was a Jim Jones the record. Obvious. <laughs> yeah, he noticed from Jim. This was a Jimmy record. <laughs> All right, we'll play the 38 Special Cuddy remix. <laughs> 38 <laughs> Special. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, do I, wanna... did, I did, by the way, love this rollout of Cuddy tweeting, should I do my own podcast? Then immediately tweeting, okay, I'm doing my own podcast. <laughs> yeah. You only need seven minutes to think about it. <laughs> what a rollout. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was easy. Thanks, yeah. fans. Yeah. And what'd you think when you ask your fans on the timeline? Should I, yo, should I do something for nah, y'all? He, he looked nah, like, no thanks, bro. No, nah, he got 114,000 <laughs> likes, so he was like, okay, they feeling it. <laughs> He's a super introvert that I've never heard talk, only sing. I'm, I don't know how this is going to go. Maybe he'll just hum the whole podcast. It'd be fire. <laughs> yeah. Yo, y'all don't think that Joe should be bitter toward just music and people? Well, like then, and, 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 what, and what just happened right there is like a prime example. Like I want to beat Rory up now. Why? <laughs> what I do? Because his generation is the generation that came after Joe. Joe, who was being an introvert around street niggas, you guessed it. When you could get shot for it, <laughs> you still can. Bitch ass. You get shot nigga. for being quiet. Yeah, they was all fucking quiet. Hey, you jump, ain't a wire, then, nigga. Then say then, something. Then, then, <laughs> then, 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 then somehow that wave got really corny, and in '09. Here came all these niggas. He's an introvert. He doesn't want to talk to any of the niggas. <laughs> oh, fuck. I ain't talking about Cuddy being a fucking introvert. Shut up, nigga. Are you mad you're not the last introvert on Earth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at you mad at. You wanted to be the last introvert. Cuddy's an introvert. He spoke to everybody. Consequence, Kanye, fucking Mims. Oh, man. This nigga spoke to everybody in the world. 2020 now. Oh, no. Nah, Cuddy ain't fucking with niggas. Shut up. Just work with Travis Scott. Introvert where? Travis, it was called. It was called, him. It was called the Scots. That? Nigga was with all the Scots. Yeah, but you was in. It wasn't even just with Trap. Now I'm at it. I'm done. I'm done. You was in a triangle offense when you was introvert. Somebody can't do a song with Travis Scott. I'm done. I'm done. Listen to yourself. Joe wanted to be the only introvert. What the fuck? He didn't do a song with Travis Scott. He did a song with the Scots. Who had the stems? It was all of them. Mike D. It was who had the stems? It was all. Who had final say with Scott? It's Mike Dean's fault. It's all Mike Dean's fault. And Miley Cyrus. Good. We want to talk about what. Mike Dean did to the game? Oh, that was Mike Wait, Will. That was Mike Will. I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing Mike like, Dean. Right, and we shit on Mike Dean. Yeah. Yeah. What is Throwing going on with the world? Shit. <laughs> no, no. Mike Dean's that nigga. Yeah. I take that back. Mike Dean's that nigga. He didn't come up with friendships. Most people did though. Define that, by the way. I know you're not talking about Cuddy. What do I need to define about that? Like y'all do that a lot in this pod. It's very blunt. No, it's not. Coming up off friendships. <laughs> what I need to define about that? that. That's how a lot of All music right, business works. Let's, Dr. Let's, Dre came up off of friendships. He came in with his friends. What are you talking about? He ain't know them niggas. <laughs> what? <laughs> are you crazy? Did you see the movie? Did you see the movie? Yes. <laughs> he knew them niggas. No, he didn't. <laughs> he was sleeping at their house. That nigga was at his mind. That nigga was sleeping at the record player. <laughs> he went to live. <laughs> <What? laughs> he knew easy old no, niggas. They was from the same, yeah, from yeah, the same yeah. neighborhood. Yo, easy nigga. daughters ain't fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nigga said Dr. Dre didn't know Easy growing up. They from the same hey, you know that that crew. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all niggas are crazy. Literally every successful nigga in the industry has been came up off of friendships. Yo, mad niggas in the hood that's talented. You go get the deal. You go back to the hood and holler at the nigga that you know shoot everybody. Now you had a relationship with him the whole nah, time. Was, shut the fuck up, bro. He knew Cuban. I'm tired of it. He, shut the, no, you shut yo, the fuck up. You've been saying stupid shit for weeks. Really, and I've been letting go. He had a relationship no, no, you, with Q. Say it on what your podcast. No, you say it on your podcast. He had a relationship I'm, with Q. I'm nigga, sick of more saying shit on my podcast. Shut what up What are you now. talking about, nigga? He knew Cuban and them niggas. I cannot believe you sitting here yelling saying this shit. You, when did you start listening to NWA? Joe is out of his mind. Yeah, what are you talking about? Did you know Fab? You grew up with Fab? No. <laughs> Were you friends with him and used him? No, don't get more excited. Oh, no, that's why you hate it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I I, it. Oh, I know you hate Fab. I haven't Stop said. fuck up, Mom. I haven't yeah. said I, yeah, I fight all you I'm niggas. still on I'll the fight fact all you that you niggas. think Dr. That? Dre didn't know Q why, and Ren and all these niggas. Cube knew them? What you mean? Yeah, they all knew each other, bro. They from the same hood. They from the same right, neighborhood. We just, gotta, we just gotta check out knew each other. <laughs> <laughs> we just and, gotta check. And <laughs> even if they didn't, if you meet Holy people like Joseph, you met Fab, you, you were using your career. Uh, no, I just followed right. them throughout the eighties. Right. So here, here, let me tell you this then. Let's go with what y'all are saying. Let's play it out further. Okay. Me and you know each other, right? Mm-hmm. In the event that I get on a tour bus 
for us to go do our live show and mm-hmm. you eating steak with Jerry. Mm-hmm. And I got to go to the, the back. We just eat, watched you and Ian and, in first and, class and, and, when we went on. to coach. I gotta, that's because y'all cheap bitches won't pay for first class. It's not because you're getting robbed. That's not what You happened. have the that's money. That's not what happened. Both of y'all won't pay for first class. That's not what happened. Not that trip, that's not what happened. That's not what happened. Oh, y'all want a specific trip. I won't pay for first class. Yeah. So. Oh wait, what trip y'all talking about? That's cool. I don't want to get oh, yeah, into a whole breakdown. Wait, okay. Ian took me and Ian took the first class money. That's cool, bro. No, no, it's cool. Just, it's cool. just go. We don't got to get into that. It's okay. No, nah, but I've been dying to know when no, y'all no, no, when no, y'all no, gonna no, get no. the first class. No, we're we're paying. We're all paying for it. See, easy. you just get to go. That's cool. If I'm going on a trip by myself somewhere else, I'm flying first. Like let's let's get that clip. Rory won't spend the extra three hundo. No, you missing my point. We all paid for the first class for you and Ian. That Thank was the you. point. <laughs> I want to know how you feel like Dr. That's Dre love. and niggas, man. Wait, look, that's love. <laughs> Meanwhile, me and Maul are in yo, fucking 32E. Let, 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 let me fix a few narratives. Let me fix a few narratives. on the knees no, on the No, your white ass wouldn't pay for first class, and they gave you 37D. Ian paid for his own first class. I will not let y'all spread these fucking narratives. And we asked, and y'all niggas be like, eh, fuck first class, man. I'm a thug. All right, then thug it out. I'll order more OJ. Whenever I feel like it. <laughs> I like first class. Yeah, I don't think it's... I fly first. I can't believe y'all think that fucking Ice Cube was cool with these niggas. <laughs> what? I cannot Joe, believe that. You out of your mind. I mean, yo, I'm not out of my mind. I was, I was there for the breakup. We got- when they all said, yo, <laughs> I didn't fuck with y'all. Ice Cube said it. Dre said it. Easy said it. They all said it. I'm not out of my mind. I hey. remember it. Yeah, but you make it. And then they wrote a movie about about it. What are these niggas talking about? No, they weren't the best of friends. Before the deal, I'm sorry that the writer had fooled y'all. No, (laughs) they were matching. Before the deal, I'm talking about before the deal. I still don't even understand. I don't understand your point. They had to con these niggas to even make a song again. Yo, try this. The fuck are you talking about? The besties? No, they weren't. Well, Easy wasn't an artist. <laughs> Dre had to convince him to And they encouraged their friend Yo yeah. listen 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 Check this out Don't know if you guys know But Kirk Frost and Rashida We recently <laughs> Recently stepped out For a night on the town <laughs> Alright <laughs> I'm done I'm done You got it Rory where, You the man nah, where, Listen Where did they go Listen they went out for dinner <laughs> Fendi down yeah, What's the new hot spot <laughs> Come on let me see what's going on Come on if we take too long More I think we about to talk about B. Simone and them Come on we can't do that Joe don't think don't anyone Could be friends and collaborate well, in the music industry. Pause that for a minute. The three of y'all pussy. <laughs> as, he, as he walks away. He walked away when you said it, though. Walked away. Thank you, Joe. Said they didn't know each other. <laughs> what? <laughs> now... We have a really romantic guest. After, <laughs> after screaming for hours about romantic? absolutely nothing. No, 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 no. Don't do that, Rory. Because that was a valid argument that we were having that our audience may not know. Oh, no, no. The argument. stems part, for sure. The I'm talking about the, fight. the friends thing. I still don't even understand. I don't what, give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I'm talking shit. It was a weird don't, argument. Don't fucking... Uh, hold me to that, like the Bruce Lee thing. Don't hold yeah, me to it's it. It's fine. And, and you would have lost that Cuddy debate. Uh, romantic. No, I wouldn't have. No, I would not have. You would have. Let's have it then. I'm here for it. You still think you could beat Bruce Lee? No. (laughs) Is that in our cut? I'm I'm glad you sat and thought about that for a few. Cut it. I know the niggas I can't be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you was talking real spicy. It ain't y'all. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, take that, nigga. You ain't Bruce. Oh, yeah, you're right. you're, you're absolutely right about that. I can't do none of that. Um, we have a really, really romantic guest here. You may have heard him on El Dorado. What's that shit? You may have heard him on his new album, Mantic. Short for romantic. Get it? Ro. Man, I see what you did. I did that. <laughs> Look, you know that's when the artists Boy, try to thinking, get clever. You know when we don't get label support, <laughs> <laughs> gotta find like, All right, all right. Uh, you freak this? How can my name get in this? One thousand percent. Oh man, <laughs> Mike, check one two one two. Very special guest in the building. Very special guest in the building. Yeah. Uh yeah. this gentleman's last album was my shit, man. I don't even know if y'all know all the things I did to that El Dorado <laughs> album, and I ain't here to tell you right now. I ain't here to tell you right now. 
I've seen this gentleman at every hot R&B concert held in Brooklyn in the last four years. <laughs> Put your keys on the counter. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Uh, how can you say something like that in this climate? So you want her to stay. That's your way of saying that. Stay. Put your Take keys them. on the counter. So mm-hmm. stick around. Yeah, let's talk. All right. Uh, All right. What is alternate side parking in effect that morning? <laughs> in New York. That's important. It depends on where we were. <laughs> <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we have none other than the amazing Ro James with us here today. Yeah, yeah. Good friend of mine, great guy, great musician, great artist, and more importantly, and much greater than Ro James is Brandy. So let's turn this up. <laughs> oh my God. More importantly, <laughs> um, yo, yes, I'm not going to win that one. Nah, you, you're, not, no. you're not about to debate hell that, no. are you? Brandy's a. Me- nah, we'll talk about that after. Go ahead. Yeah, because. I love when R&B niggas collab with Brandy and recognize that she's greater than all of us. Damn right. She's so great that we only let her really do the backgrounds. Y'all bitch ass niggas won't let her get a lead to blow you niggas off the song. You can't. <laughs> no, honestly. No, that's not just you. Uh, who did they just cancel uh, that I used to like, man? Damn. Daniel Caesar they canceled. Mm. And the Brandy song on his album... Like, if he let Brandy sing, wow. Would have sounded sound oh. a little different. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. She didn't sing on it? She, she sang, sang yeah. but it wasn't Brandy she singing. Sung. She sung. Uh, she didn't sing. Yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't different. that. It wasn't that. Ro James, how you doing, man? I'm amazing, man. I'm, I'm all right. I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm amazing. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm all right. Fast, yeah. And I'm, I'm cool, okay. you know. Okay. Oh, okay. It's did, all the things. Did Brandy get the stems? I was there when I when we did it together. He's amazing. Mm-hmm. So I took the stage. He's amazing. He's good. <laughs> yep. And he's all right. That's like when the prosecutor don't know if first, second, or third. Nah, will it's stick. all of those things. <laughs> we're gonna go. We're just gonna go for he's all of them. Everything, Your Honor. Listen, man. This album. I've been trying to get you here for quite some time. A few yeah, years. You're a really busy, man. You're introverted. You're all that Super weird shit at R and B. Let's talk about that. Yeah. How do you expect to fucking thrive? <laughs> <laughs> And I'm not asking this just for you. Yeah. I'm asking this because most of the R&B cats today, that's that's how they on it. Like yeah. a lot of know. artists in general are. Yeah, yeah not just R&B. Yeah. Not just R&B. So you're right about that, Parks. Yeah. But yeah, we're not really just trying to speak to everybody. We're not trying to be out there. We're not trying to be seen, especially somebody that's that close to the artistry like you. Like yeah. I'm asking how you balance that. Something that was so difficult for me to balance throughout my career. Like I I enjoy watching y'all attempt to navigate through it through being introverted. And- yeah. Man, and and having to have a career and make money from and make money in a pandemic for, for sure for our art. Like it's tough. Uh I'm introverted because I can't trust niggas. I can't trust any people in general. I feel like uh and not not to be closed minded or closed off to people. I just feel like people have shown me who they are and it made me have to go back into myself and just be strong with me. You know what I mean? So that mm. way I can build out. But um Shit, man. Not I don't but no, know. no, 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 no. Not but um. This is a real interview. Okay. How do you feel? How do you feel about your arguably greatest love yeah. making you this jaded toward humanity? Hmm. Look, I gotta take off my glasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm about no. to talk. And I'm, I'm asking you nah, this real. because it's something many of us battle with. Like for most of my career, Ro James. I didn't trust anybody because nothing showed me that I could. Right. But I was still trying to appeal to people and needed the people that I kind of didn't trust all the way. Right. So that's why, and it was tough for me. Yeah. So that's part of the reason, like, you niggas are so important in how y'all decide to do this. Yeah. It's hard, man, especially for me. I feel like um, I came in as the underdog to all the homies, right? So... For me, I watched all the homies get signed and get a deal. All the homies get signed and get a deal. All the homies get signed and get a deal. And then... Like who? I was here. Out of curiosity. Uh, like who was your like from, crew? Yeah, who's your competition group? Yeah. Your I've been around group. everybody, man. I've been doing this for a little while. But Rob been so, around longer than his Yeah, I mean, I before this, I started... when I, I used to live in Indiana. So when I moved to New York, I dove right in. And I went... I was in parties. I was out. Right. And then That's somebody... Sent you? Yeah, yeah no, I was I'm, out. I'm, I'm, you know, you was getting out there. fucked up you, you out here in New was, York, like New York. There. I knew where the parties was. You I knew Taylor. where to be, where the fly shit was, where the what, who? Nothing. <laughs> 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 where the fashion parties was. I was into all that. So somebody said something to me one day. They was like, yo, and all the artists would come to New York and they'd ask me like where the party is, where to go. And I would always show 
But I would never say like, yo, I'm an artist too. Because mm -hmm. I was still figuring me out. I was still developing. I was still figuring out how I fit into everything. So you were the cool guy that just knew I was the shit. cool guy who knew everything, where right. to shop, who was what, where to go. But I was kind of the glue between other people too because I everybody would want to hang out. So I introduced this person to this person and this person to this person. Mm -hmm. Now everybody's mm -hmm. a crew and hanging out to like we're talking about Luke James. We're talking about... Miguel, we're talking about me, just a whole bunch of Bridget Kelly, like mad people. Right. Winter Gordon, who's mm -hmm. now Diana Gordon now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just mad. Nice but then, I mean, I can name artists who I've come across and just been a part of their experience. Story. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's like when you see people and you hang out with them in New York and you cool and then they pop and then you don't see them no more and it's, they mm -hmm. act funny, but then they stole your whole vibe and who, how you yeah, are you, yeah. you know and then you like yeah. two quick points on what you're saying and i'm going to share this with you this is a private thought in a transparent moment yeah what you're saying right now is what comes to my mind every single time you and miguel like each other's pictures <laughs> i'm not lying to you because i see the likes a lot from y'all too it's like oh for me it's like hey is it genuine camaraderie and support for one another or is it I got to keep an eye on you for both of you. Right. It might be a little bit of both. Well, I'm asking him. He's here. Yeah, it might be a little bit of both. <laughs> okay, to me, and this is no cocky shit, I don't even look at anybody around me like that because I feel like I'm completely Different. my own shit. Right. Mm. Like, if I see somebody taking my shit, I might disappear for a moment and come back on some other shit. Or four mm, years. Because that's me. Not really four years. The only reason it took that long is because label shit. Mm -hmm. Who you talking This about? album's been done two years ago. Who you signed to? RCA. Sorry. RCA. Okay. I like RCA. Don't talk bad no, about it. No, I'm never. I love them. I love the everybody RB, up there. RB but I, powerhouse. People think I'm getting paid from RCA. I, I you know. You promoting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not paid from they, RCA. I don't have any They just happen to have there. all the amazing R&B artists. It's they true. do. Everybody. Yeah, all like, of us. Hmm. I mean, that's Miguel's my, right here. He's my label mate mm -hmm. with mm. Mark Pitts. Me and uh, Miguel are signed to Mark Pitts. Okay. So I don't look at Miguel as uh, like competition. Yes, you do. But I do look at Miguel at Let me finish, bro. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Shit. I don't look at him as competition, but I have to because everybody compares us. Everybody's like, oh, you're a Miguel type nigga. And I'm like, what? I'm a me. Like, I was been me before I even met Miguel. Yeah, you you never, know what I mean? You, never you both so, are pr princess like, uh, And I'm not even trying to be a prince dude either. I'm just me. You know what I mean? Like, my influences come from so many different places man like I, I'm a Panamanian mm. I am West Indian I've traveled the world my father in the, was in the military I was born in Germany like oh, wow. my influences are everything mm. so I'm not copying off you because I already got my inspirations I'm just trying to figure out how to unveil them mm. without them being stolen before my time oh, yes, right. that's gotcha. a click, clickbait right there Miguel's copying <laughs> <laughs> that's clickbait slide us through the roof right there no listen I'm kidding around of course but do you know what speaks what speaks highest to me about these trust issues that you speak of? What's up? You came in here alone. Yeah, I travel. I'm a New Yorker, man. I, I like travel that. alone. I like that. No one has ever come in here alone. I like that. And as an artist, for me, I know what it says when I walk in alone. A, no, but, yeah. but, but he don't know because... I've seen Rowan passing throughout the years, but I, I see him walking through Harlem all the time by himself. Yeah, I be by myself. Like I be in the car at the light, and I Branson? just see this nigga. Walk, no, not Branson. No, <laughs> he'd just be, he'd just be walking, and I'm like, oh, this nigga Row really be by himself. Like, yeah, that's dope. Though. I like as that. a producer and a studio guy in general. When someone comes alone, I, I like that. I respect, respect that. that yeah. yeah, but you know what's different though? When you come alone, I don't feel like people give you the respect of an artist the same way because they expect you to have like that representation. Oh, no. I give it the utmost more. I see. Well, we, we're, we're, we're different. We, I mean, we're certainly. We're different. You know why I can't? Because I, I I know you. You know what I'm saying? Like right. it's like all right, that's my homie. It's cool. I'm gonna pull up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But other people, I'd be like, yo, y'all, my management, where y'all at? Y'all not gonna pull up and make sure I'm good? Right. You know. So, it's yeah, different yeah, because depending you, on the situation. Yeah, certainly. you need people because it ain't. It I ain't, could come off. So I could come off abrasive, or I could come off laid back and and just what would appear soft and just in myself to where how you deal with me. You know right. what I mean? So I feel like for it me, where you're it's good to have somebody, and then sometimes I'm by myself. Well, yeah. that's why niggas don't need landing. to go to the outlets that will do that. Yeah, or that are trying to do that. Yeah. It's like, fam, what, what are you doing? I just want to promote my music. Yeah, like, bro. I'm, yeah. I'm not into the <laughs> bullshit here. Yeah. Ro, which album was better, your first or this one? And it's okay. 
<laughs> it's okay. You can say it. Mm-mm. I want to say they all my babies, man. Yeah, <laughs> on some real shit. <laughs> on some real shit. I um, romantic. This mantic album meant, meant a lot to me only because this was my chance to be the boss and an artist and figure it out and figure out the bullshit and figure out how to maneuver next and what I want to do next and how to actually see what happens. I didn't have management for like two years. Mm. I remember. So I was in there in the, in the labels trying to do Speak it myself. Speak for yourself. Yeah. yeah, like I was making music and then it would be, a, they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And at first I thought they was like, and listening to me, like, okay. And then things would take longer and I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm the type that I'm, I created my whole album cover, styled myself, put, decided how I want to do it. Did you write all the songs? Everything, bro. Everything I wrote on. I mean, everything I wrote, and then there's a couple, as you can see, that I had a couple people write with Okay, me. Mm, yeah. cool. Mm. No, you, no, and I don't uh, write with too many people. Yeah. Like It's like Ryan Toby, Verse Simmons. Verse is dope. Stacey Barth, you know what Stacey I mean? Stacey Barth is Love super, Stacey. super dope. Super dope. Yeah. Um, Major Major. Major Major is super dope. He's, uh, he's Bounty Killer's son. Oh, wow. mm. Amazing. Wow. Amazing. But uh yeah, so I mean I keep it real tight with the writing. But uh this one, I say the whole purpose and the meaning behind the mantic is like, you know, like you said in the beginning, if you're not gonna get the support, how am I gonna put my name out here? You've been there. Mm-hmm. And you're also saying there. like, how do you do this and being an introvert when I think oversaturating myself social media wise is corny for me. Because what am I gonna put up? Like pictures of myself every five minutes, it's corny, or it's corny girls that too. I'm hanging yeah. out with. Like that's corny, or celebrities, quote yeah. unquote, that I'm hanging out that's with. Or you like and, me, and that doesn't necessarily it sell don't music. do shit for me. <laughs> yeah. Like it don't do nothing, and it makes me look like a dick rider, and I'm not that. You know what? Mm-hmm. Excuse me. I mean, no, 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 yeah, it makes me look like I'm trying to like ride somebody else, and I'm on me. You know what I mean? Like I said, I already know who I am, so I'm really just figuring out how to unveil these different layers of me without it me falling into the traps of making something too corny or oversaturated just for the sake of likes or so people would go listen to my music. But you know? how, how are you able to actively fight that bout and release a project, especially during this time? Shit, bro, like, how do y'all get to really know, for, bro. for me, and that's all the experience I have to go on, yeah. When I wasn't charting or when I didn't have something that the label felt really strong about, it was really hard to get them to see things from my point of view. Yeah. Today, it's almost like whether we at odds or not, we have to find a way to get this project out. Yeah. And is that is that what it was kind of like? Well, let me say, I wasn't at odds with my label. I love everybody that's working with me on some real shit. Mm-hmm. I got some good people around, Mark Pitts and all of these people. Mark is just... Up. The president, he's up. He's up. I mean, how I'm gonna call he's, him every day, like, bro? Marcus. I need you to do this for me. My A and R got fired halfway in between my album, and I never had a replacement. Right? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, but also, it's like, like I said, I had to level up with self because I understand where they had me at the label. If you have me as an urban AC act only, then I'm only gonna get urban AC attention. Mm-hmm. If you have me as a main act, then I'm gonna get the attention and the support that deserves that. So. With me putting out and having such a halt in my in my time frame of music and releases, it, you have to regain the trust and the uh like the okay, are you gonna put out some fire shit or are you gonna put out something that's like and they and then they're battling you about what you put out, what you release. Are you still staying with you can't leave and abandon all the fans that you just gained from El Dorado with this soul and love and ah 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 and sex and that. Which I can't, because that's who I am. But at the same time, I could do it a whole different way. Mm-hmm. I could, I, I could do rock, bro. Like right. I'm influenced by that in a real way. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? That could be my next project. But if people, oh, I haven't you trying, garnered you the trying people. To, you trying to get dropped? Nah, 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 <laughs> have, not like that. <laughs> I have a question. You go tell like, Mark Pitts. Be, being a, uh, <laughs> I do rock. Mark Pitts no, of all I'm people. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> Listen, like, oh, not. No, no, go that. ahead. Go ahead. Okay. For example, on my last album. My interpretation of a blend of R&B and what rock would be would be Holy Water on my album. Right? Uh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. It's not, a, it's not a departure to where it loses you, but it's at the same time it's something that is worldly. Mm. I could sing that shit in France. I could sing, sing that shit in Australia, mm. Panama, anywhere. Okay, you're going to feel it. You but know? as someone that label-wise is being boxed into urban AC, that being the sole 
song on this project that sounded that way, how are you going to pitch that to a Mark Pitts? I just want to play say, the song for the people that might be unaware of the song he's talking about, because that's important. To, to say uh, that you're holding me there in an urban AC market, and yeah. now I want to do a crossover. Yeah. But I wanted to come in as crossover. Mm -hmm. I never saw myself as having the box anyway. Yeah. How is it being like a... Um Non legacy type of act at a major label. Like, how involved are they in your <laughs> in your project? Okay, so in the recording process, like I said, my A and R got fired halfway through, so right. I had to step up and go Do get the stems. Right. I had to find who was gonna mix it. Right. I had to find the master. I had to chase down producers and their managers to get. The, I had to do so all you're basically of it. <laughs> independent no real shit. On a I did it though. all, and I had to turn it in because you know. If I don't have anybody and you're not going to do it yourself, you're either waiting. And I'm not I'm not going to wait. I got right, two yeah. albums after this that's done, too. I oh, already wow. did two other albums. Wow. Mm. So oh, y'all once up. I got to the point, you gotta hold <laughs> go up. ahead, no, go ahead, play it. I see what you mean. Yeah. You feel I me? What, I yeah. see what you mean. It's a different feel. Yeah. It. it puts it don't put me in no kind weird. of box. It's, it's different from it's, it's different other. from K Michelle saying I'm doing a country album <laughs> and it really being a yeah. country album. You just talking about the merging of yeah, the two, blending the of all my sounds. inspirations for a sound. The explosive. It's more of yeah, rock. it's the aggressiveness of the yeah. talking about the music. I gotta yeah. be honest, if if I'm you or if I'm anybody on RCA right now, I'm not putting a project out without her on it. Yeah, but Okay, let me get back to yeah, this. I'm sure nice. that's a, okay. something Give it that's to requested. Me. You want 100%? That's why I'm bringing it up. Y'all want real shit? Yes. All right. So, with this album, you, as you, we talked about this last time, I mean, what, no interview, we just talked about it in general, about no features on my project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had no features on El Dorado because, like I said, I'm like, yo, I'm, I'll finish the whole song. Why do I need somebody to come in and... Right. I don't need it. Let real, me turn it in. Real artist right. shit. <laughs> but I wasn't like, you know what I mean? I just felt like if it's I send question. you, if I send you, if I do a song and I send it to you and you, and it's talking about, I don't know, the ground. black cars and yeah. you're talking yeah. about puppies and it's like, yeah, yeah why what the fuck are we doing? Yeah. And Did then you even listen to the usually song? it'd be like, well, I got the verse from Lil Wayne, so I'm going to keep it on here. Like, nah, yeah. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make sure my shit is true and it feels right. right. Going on to this album. It was the same thing. We talk, mm. talked about Brandy. You talked about, yeah, I'm very, I'm very tight with that. You should be. I think that's the introvert in you. It's not even the introvert, man. I feel like there's mad artists out here. Everybody's collaborating. Everybody's doing all this. Mm. How do I stand alone and say, yo, I have such integrity with my work that I want to be a legacy artist or be respected as such because I right. love Prince. I love yeah. Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye, Otis Redding. You can hear it. Mark, but Sam Cook, like great artists yeah. who have had long standing careers and you still listen to their music today. That's who I try to mold my music after. Mm. Mm. And didn't chase a sound or rely on. And make artists. sure that I'm current yeah, yeah. with y'all to make sure that y'all hear something different, but not biting nobody else's yeah, yeah. RB sound because that's you. That, I'm over here as me. So, how do y'all promote? My me. Hey, that shit sounds great. These kids would have got Stevie Wonder out of here today. <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah. What's that album? Uh, Key in the Minor. But you know the album. Uh -huh. Stevie Songs, album. Songs in the Key. Yeah, yeah. yeah, these kids would be like, nigga, man, where's Future? It's one of the best albums. Like, <laughs> oh, they don't saying, care like, about how that. Do you, how do you, how do you do that? How do you do that in like a, in like a microwave type of era? You like, can. I'll be honest with you, Ro. You really can't. Bro. Four years between albums is unacceptable for me. I got you. Like, there's nothing you could say to it. I don't care if you're beefing with your label. Nah, like, it wasn't I'm, even that. How do you release an album and you don't have support? Otherwise, I'm dropping the album and nobody knows. That, and management is, I'm talking about support that, too. That falls on us. Because unfortunately, when we don't release the album, all the fans say is, that nigga ain't released an album. Like, they so, don't know yeah. all that we going through. Yeah. As a Ro James fan, yeah. four years between projects, not as your friend, is it's it's difficult to grasp. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to grasp in a time where artists are just putting shit out two and three EPs, ten minute project. Like, and I get that your artistry is different. So that's nah, why. It ain't even about my artistry. It's about the process of releasing music. That's that's one of the uh, detriments to being on a major label. Yeah, it's the process it's like, of yeah. releasing music. Like, 
you got your hierarchy. You got Usher. If you if Usher is putting out, you can't. I can't put out nothing right now because they're trying to get his yeah. shit situations together. I'm trying to be number one always. So mm-hmm. how am I gonna? If you're yes. trying to put Usher as number one, I'm. It's Usher. You get right. me? No, so no, it's like I gotta fall back and wait because I don't want my shit overlooked. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then it's overlooked because I don't have a manager in there beating down the door because you know you gotta do that. Like, yo, what's up with the role? What's up with the role? What's up with yeah. the role? Right. Somebody gotta do that. Mm-hmm. I can't mm-hmm. be the person doing that. Yeah. So I understand. One that. A year takes two years, and then you're trying to find a manager, and then you gotta get used to them, and then they gotta fight the battle with the label, and then you wait an eight who, months. Who it's do crazy, we, man. Who do we? Tell at RCA that, <laughs> that honestly, yeah, because that's a problem in music that sometimes we don't know even the right point person to express this to. Yeah, yeah. yeah but somebody true. in this building has to recognize I cannot take four years between projects. Mm-hmm. That's an A&R. Like, who do we? I'm going over his head. His A&R got lost in the sauce anyway. I, I'm skipping to, to, him. To his explanation I'm, I'm, and what happened. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the A&R's job. I'm skipping yeah, the A&R. I'm going to the... I'm oh, going, no, I'm going if to I'm the, an artist, yes. Yeah, at that yeah, point, yeah. my A&R got fired. Fuck that. I'm going right to the president. I wouldn't give a fuck if he was hired, nigga. You sit right there and I'll be back. I'm going to go to the... <laughs> I'm going to the corner <laughs> office no, to, to, answer to your, explain to somebody. Your, your question yeah. directly, yes. That would be the A&R's job to let the building know that yes, this artist needs a process. Music. That's a fact. Like, bro, no disrespect. Give a fuck about Usher. Yeah. Like, if I'm trying to drop, I'm saying. You know, as I'm an Usher fan. Not everyone I'm, 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 I'm an Usher fan. I know what you're saying. I love Usher, but I'm just saying. I, I, mean, I couldn't be a whole I fan don't. no more once I got to Def Jam. Like, I understand what he's it's saying. Competition. I didn't, I didn't know that on, on Def Jam, y'all couldn't work my record because y'all were working nine other records. And Joe mm-hmm. Budden is behind Ludacris and Ja and Jay-Z and DMX. And yeah, Shauna facts. and whoever else y'all yeah, want to put I mean, put that's there. real shit. So, but that gives us the feeling of, nigga, I don't give a fuck about Ludacris. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, y'all go and work that nigga's record. It's me it's and my, it's, it's my time now. Nothing to do with Like, me. how do we say that politely, like, without can't say that rubbing politely, people bro. the wrong way? You can't. You can't. That's, that's bullshit. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting angry. <laughs> <laughs> no, Major for real. The system, yeah. Because I mean, I mean, Row to me represents, and you're saying it's not artistry, but to me, you do represent artistry. No, I'm, I do represent artistry, but I'm saying the fact of me. That it took so oh, long. Yeah, it I wasn't know. that. I create every day. After I leave here, I'm about to go to the studio. I make songs every See, day. See, and that's the part I think we don't know. Every day. That's the part we don't know. Yeah. I'm not sitting at the crib just like watching TV. Smoking and shit. Nah, I make music every day. You're smoking All right, while you so music. To that point of, <laughs> and I'm smoking. <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, to that point of you making music every yeah. day and you said that this album had been done for almost two years yeah. and working with the label to try to put it out, you don't fall out of love with music quickly? You like, said that earlier or somebody said it I, earlier. When we were talking about the Dre thing, like I could imagine sitting on an album for two years, especially if I create every single day, yeah. that this is going to sound dated to me and I'm not going to be excited about it when RCA finally says, yo, it's time. Exactly. That's how you talk about this. <laughs> I mean, it does, it, because I have made it so long ago and mm. I evolve because I'm making, I'm making music by projects because I'm thinking about a subject matter, what I'm feeling like, and I'm creating the body of work around it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm doing that again, and I do that whatever who I'm working with. Like, this is what this is about. This is where I'm at. This is what I'm thinking now. So in this moment, coming out of El Dorado, I was feeling romantic as everybody was <laughs> burned slow and Adidas yeah. and I, I, I. Like, yeah. I was in my romantic vibe. But at the same time, I was going through a lot of different things, too, like management transition, label transition, trying to get out of Urban AC, wanting people not to keep comparing me to just Prince or just keeping me as Mr. Permission when I got so much music. Have they, have yeah. they, have, what do you think about them attempting to delete the term urban from the categories, period? Yeah, they just told me that. Um, I mean, ho- that's great, but is the budget going to change? <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I just had had that conversation. No. Is the support and it's where you put the change. music going to change? So, I mean, taking the name out is great. But the support is what it needs. Right. Got it. The urban the urban name sounds like a band-aid we're throwing over because we're being pressured at the time. Because right. I don't think that urban budget is going to change to the pop budget now that we've taken urban AC out of the vocabulary. No. Nah. It's just something to say, hey, we did it. It's like us not working on Tuesday to think about black lives. You're just doing it right now to say you did it. Mm. And I think that urban... It's we know what they mean when they say it, so it should be out of here. Right. But it's not gonna change much 
until you actually change the system of how we're giving money to artists to create and putting money behind them to put it back out. Fight for fight for us, Rory. No, I, I, we li- I literally just did uh, with your old manager, Eddie Blackman. I did yeah, a Zoom with him brother. about that exact oh, pick, um, pick issue. It's right there. Drop it. By your foot. By his ankle. I mean, his name yeah. is Eddie. Like, Eddie. <laughs> his name is Eddie. No, no, no. <laughs> like, I didn't, no, no, you I dropped, didn't drop a wild you, name. No, his name is Eddie. Show me that you might know him. Yo, yeah, man, that's my dude. I know, yeah, I know him. You ain't even know I knew him. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, but no, no, because I, I did it with his old manager. But we had that same What's conversation. His name? his name is uh, Edward. Eddie Brockwick. Brockwick. <laughs> <laughs> Venom. That's a sick name. Uh, but no, we did, that topic of the urban shit. I just the budgets aren't going to change, so yeah. I think it's kind of pointless unless you change. It's the something, money. but it's not Listen, much. Are all the artists poor right now? Because we can't tour. If you're smart, I mean, if you're smart, you're not poor, but. You're definitely trying to make nah, some money right don't now. Do I don't think that's fair. Don't do that. I don't, I don't think that's fair. That. I'm not, that's not fair. What you mean? That's not fair. I, th- I think a lot of it's smart, a lot of smart artists, artists that are broke <laughs> that focus on touring because they have that group of fans that will... And they're not getting their money back that they put out thinking that they were going to get it back from touring? Is that what you're well, saying? Well, touring probably yeah. is not coming back till 2021. Yeah, it's over. If we're lucky. Everything got canceled. Yeah. End of 2021. So if we don't have any ownership in our shit, how do we eat for the foreseeable future off of our music? Blank. Print up some t-shirts. Yeah. T-shirts. I mean, even you know, then it seems insane. Everybody's to doing to like these, t-shirts I know. Right these now. IG live concerts and whatnot. You haven't done that yet. You, I haven't done it. Because well, I felt like I, I felt like Man, I want my, my music and my work to be seen a different way. Not you if know? you ain't you ain't snuff Usher. <laughs> <laughs> so, <I> mean, <laughs> what? No, no, you don't want it to be seen in a yeah. different way. We could snuff this nigga. He's 45 now. I don't know. We he could take him. We could take him, bro. We ain't got time to be. This nigga had a number one two weeks ago. Wait a second. Right. Why the hell Usher get a number one two weeks ago? That's hate. That's hate. That's hate. That's hate. That's hate. But listen, man, I all I just always gonna side with the guy who has art on his side. Yeah, me too. Yeah, like that's having a difficult time up there. Uh, and not to say that Rose having a difficult time because he's saying he's not. He's saying things are straightened out and fixed. Hopefully, as a fan, as a consumer, <laughs> it's a work in progress. I'm sure it's a work in progress, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. We cannot wait four years again for you. I just said, bro, I got two albums done. All right. It's right. just Two additional about, ones on yeah. top of this one. Okay. It's just about how and when they'll be released and will they be supported the right way. Do you otherwise have a, uh, I started my own label. Do you have a term of contract with RCA or I, I got two more albums. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's why I got the oh, double man. disc sitting there <laughs> waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I get it. I know what's going double on. Double disc. Oh, put, <laughs> put them shits out and don't even tell nobody, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Twenty seven years. Hey, he's on hey, 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 the Frank Ocean RCA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, Twenty seven. Yo, Apple's gonna do this next one, guys. <laughs> it's just gonna be an exclusive. It's, yeah. it's gonna be a video. <laughs> <laughs> hey, video only. Video only. My final trip. Yo, who, who, who are some applause of the to Frank for that shit, man? Hey, yeah, that, that was, was crazy. That was fly. <laughs> no, I'm in a round of applause for Frank. That was amazing. As Fast much fun. shit as I talk that about great. Frank on this podcast, he changed the game. Nah, Def, he really Def did. Jam ran out like, he we're changed. getting two Frank albums hey. at one time. No, you're not. <laughs> he's out. No, he's out this contract. Hey, Frank, now. Ocean yeah. made, Frank Ocean made Apple go holler at Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying, I'm flying. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> Correct me when I'm uh, wrong. Uh-huh. Uh, go ahead, but go ahead, Dumb. Go ahead. Um, wow. Who are you listening to right now? Oh, man. Uh, that sounds like some bullshit, but I want to know. I'm listening to everything, man. I oh, was just up, listening to Westside. Uh, nah, dead ass. I listen to everything, bro. I listen to the Whispers, to West Side Gun, to Still Sir, the to uh, you're, everything. You'll get more excited. Huh? huh. That's why MAGA. That's, that's why he's an artist. What? MAGA. Yeah. You gotta listen to <laughs> Make everything. another Gun album. There you go. Oh. It's coming. It's coming to it. Yeah, I listen to everything. Real shit. Bowie, I'm listening to everything. Because I just, I don't want to get stuck on one particular sound. If I'm listening to... The hot playlist of this week, it's like all of it is one sound, and I'm gonna start yeah, trying yeah. to make music like that. Yeah, and it's I like, nah, it. man, I, yeah. I gotta keep my mind. Why are you not making playlist music? Since you introduced the word playlist, <laughs> because uh, playlist, I mean, I know why. This, is, this is playlist. This is playlist. Yeah, I got some shit on here. This is playlist R&B. All right, Bill Bondsman, Rory, can you step to the side <laughs> for two seconds? <laughs> playlist as in music focused 
on a particular playlist, not music that can play in a playlist. Mm. Like you're not targeting any specific playlist. Do you think that's to your detriment? No, and it could be. I feel like no because I'm still creating me. Like I said, this is my, this is the next album for me where I'm staying in the here comfort here. T take mm. that, Miguel. You know what I'm saying? And then <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking shit, my brother. <laughs> And, and I love me. And, All right, so <laughs> me too. Yeah, it's my brother. Um, what was I? I don't remember what the fuck. Miguel's one of the last playlist. people that dubbed me when I asked him for a feature. He <laughs> threw me. <laughs> threw you? No. Threw me. Oh, then he dubbed, he's dubbed. He's dubbed me a <laughs> few times. Then now listen. Yo, now I mind you. Told you my man's no, now but. mind you. Let me come clean. As much as I hate this. I was the guy to ask for a feature at an inopportune time. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. But this is a wrong Maul with was with... Yo, Maul, man. I hate Maul. I was there? I don't remember this. Remember we went to... Drake was having a party at something that felt like Mr. Childs. All right. All right. I can't say Eddie, it's, but... You can say Drake Todd. and Mr. Childs I think it together. was Todd. <laughs> and we wasn't invited. <laughs> <laughs> we wasn't invited. We just went, and we because we cool with niggas, and we went, and it was Drake and Miguel and Gracie and oh. Bernice and every fly like chick fan. in the world. I can't even step on Yo, this car. I want to so, step on the It was name. so many beautiful <laughs> women there, bro. That I said, about. "Yo, Miguel." I need a feature. <laughs> no. That ain't the time. Right there? That ain't not no, the time. No, he was talking to like somebody I wanted to talk to at the time. <laughs> it, just, it just wasn't like, cool. It wasn't cool. Music wasn't Bad like, time yo, there, man, bro. huge fan of yours. He was like, yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I got you. <laughs> so, I mean, I never got that verse, but he's always been fly with me. I then I retired, that. and that was the end of that. That's, that was a nice night. night. Anyway, <laughs> I love Miguel. Don't do that. And edit that. <laughs> <laughs> edit that. Uh, edit that. I do think your the playlist in question you had is a lot more politics. Like Plan B yeah. is a playlisting mood Apple Music Too much. playlist. That's why it's, 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 it's why political. <laughs> hey, this is playlist music. So why don't we don't fucking call Mark Pitts? Love you, Mark Pitts. Love you, sir, Mark. Love you, love you, love you. Don't take my aggression differently. <laughs> And Skane, love you, love you, Skane. Yeah, hey, Skane. What the fuck is Skane doing up there? Skane came in after my other A and R got fired, so he the project he was job. pretty much done. So he's now is he your about to start working with me? Yeah, he's about to start working now. Shout out to Skane. Yeah, Skane is a do good dude, man. Yeah, Skane yeah. is great, you, great I'm dude. I'm telling you, if if that is your A and R, right, then you won't go another four years. <laughs> no, no, no. That's what he said. I mean, he's like, yo, we about to come back and pop after this. I mean, yes, sir. I got joints. No, Skane is that nigga, man. Shout out to Skane. But whatever issue we have, and why can't we just pick up the phone, call Mark Pitts, and say, yo, prioritize here. The fo takes, focus, because focus here. Because these ladies Like any sad. issue I had I called Kevin Lyles I wasn't going to Fucking Tyshawn And them Hey it's Cat Yeah <laughs> What we do What's this Don't feel right I don't understand Explain it to me Like if we have that Relationship with niggas And we might be getting Too music geeky For our well, audience No but it's, it's fine Why we can't just Shoot up the chain Yo Mark This is what I feel I need For us back in the day It might have been I need a 106 in park Placement for Give me three weeks mm -hmm. uh, Give me an R&B feature and give me uh, Buster product. Rice. Give me product placement uh, when you enter the store, because that's what niggas like me had to fight for. Like mm -hmm. Ja Rule, oh, yeah. when you walked in this the H, end, the end cap. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, ja Rule shit was at the front. But DMX shit, shit though. was at the front. Everything digital. Everything ain't even like that no more. Well, so, it kind of is. Though. I mean, there's still placement on the but, Apple page but the or Spotify. Same thing page. you were saying, where you were against a little bit Rule, J, all these people. RCA, yeah, Sony, the whole shit. <laughs> they have 15 records from the amount of artists they have on that major label going to these DSPs, and then you have the other two big major labels at the same time. So these, yeah, these playlists lot. that can only put one record on every other week are now... Roe has to sit on a list of 100 people that are also well-established artists. Yeah. And Mark Gosh. Pitch, I'll just let you use him as an example, yeah. may have to put another artist before Roe. Like, it's just an unfair game. It's so cluttered with this playlisting shit, and it's so political, and so many labels are talking to these DSPs and, and playlists in general. His record can't get on there because they're only adding so many per week. Well, what, we, what we used to say when us, us that didn't have label support, what the new argument became for us was, then package me with whoever you're supporting. 
then put me in the store the same exact time that Chris Brown is in the store. Because whatever traffic is generated from there, then maybe I'll pick something but up. That's what I said about releases. Yeah, yeah, about when a big artist release. I wouldn't duck a big artist release now. Digitally, I want to be right there when Beyonce releases. I want you... Yeah, y'all going there Beyonce, I want to be right there. Bro, Beyonce, but that, but that doesn't James. so much work Bro, with the, the playlist game For the either. people that are confused... Uh, Back to Rory's conversation about some of the shit that the labels are trying to do now. But for the people that are confused, uh, how does it behoove you to be on a major versus an independent? Independent? Uh, well, I, as you know, I got signed, what, four years ago, right when El Dorado came out. Um, and I, I had just come off of my Coke Jack and Cadillacs project that I released independently, which even got me. Mark's attention. And you've inspired me to purchase an El Dorado. I told you that before. Come on, bro. I'm getting an El Dorado. I'm, I'm definitely a ride too. El Dorado. Are you fucking kidding me? And uh, grab another one. But uh, yeah, I needed I needed financial support to be able to be out more out. because I didn't want to be only an underground Minimized. artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wanted to be out. Like what I do, put it out there. Like that's why I went to a label. So. R and B is expensive, that for me. man. R and B is expensive. It is. It is. Like, I, I get with R and B artists getting on majors, especially brand new ones that come from nothing. I need that loan. Yeah. I need that recording budget. Yeah. Like, I can't sit here with a mic in my room and tr- just put a verse on a beat and send it to a producer to mix. It just don't work that way. Yeah. It's a fucking expensive game. Yeah. Well, slow down. I'm gonna play devil's advocate again with Ro because that's my guy and I love him. Even on this album, it seemed, well, you talked earlier about releasing music without features. Mm -hmm. But for the game you're playing today, it seems like there is an entire subgenre of people that contribute to what you're trying to do. Like, for me, I would assume that when Jill and Music and D'Angelo and... But they um, were a crew. Angie was out, like... They were a crew. For me, that is kind of how... Maybe not intentionally for y'all. That's how I look at you and SZA yeah. and Ari mm-hmm. and there's a few of y'all. But you know the difference with that is? Ro is by itself. SZA is TDE. Ari, Ari is, is Dreamville. Exactly. Yeah. So she got Everybody's her crew got regardless. Somebody. Ro is by herself. Crews are, crews are you know, important. Crew is so I mean, And that's why, seen it that's in why music I forever. identify with Ro, just because I know how it is to do it alone. It's different without a crew. And then, you know, it's not like I'm going to go over there and be like, yo, guys, let me let me join your crew. I sing, I'm fired, bro. Yeah, let yeah, me be part of All right, well, cool. If you want to hang out with me, cool. If you don't, cool. No, nah, that's your bad. And that's by. You supposed, you supposed but, to go to Cali. No, no, no. I'm saying I hang. I hang with people, but I'm not gonna yes. beg you yeah, to you accept buster. me into your crew, so right. that way my my shit could pop. Yeah, like that's corny. Like I want you to fuck with my shit, cause you fuck and be me. like, yo, bro. I kind of feel like can- I, I kind of feel like uh, I look at Lucky Day, right? And I feel like you and him have a lot of similarities as far as like I don't really see him fucking with a lot of people like that, right? But I don't. I'm just trying to figure out what was it about Lucky Day. That pop because I think I think when you dropped your shit like everybody was talking about Ro James, but I'm just trying to figure out what happened. I don't know if it was the four year gap. I can answer that. Or what it was, but timing probably had. Yeah, maybe to do timing, yeah, but y'all are like very similar as far as just content, which y'all talking about in y'all shit. Y'all mm-hmm. both can sing. Mm-hmm. Styles are really unique. Mm-hmm. But I, it's label support more. I mean, the first time, yeah. the first time I saw Ro, uh, not Ro, uh, the first time I saw Lucky Day was on in the BET program before the awards, where they let a new artist shine. Right. And to get that look, and her got that look too. Yeah. yeah. That's label support. Yeah. Okay. And right. and when Painted came out, he already had that support and was in a deal for however many albums, so there was already in, invested in the future. Like when. El Dorado came out, it made mad noise, but his shit wasn't straight. That label, so it, right? <laughs> that same label support is why we have a Lucky Day and Babyface record right now. Right. Mm, Lucky gotcha. Day can't smell Babyface without label support. Right. Actually, I just watched their uh, their, uh, their live, uh, live that they did. Yeah. Babyface unintentionally is the funniest guy in the universe. I love Babyface, man. <laughs> well, how could you not? Babyface is the man. Yeah, man. But in him being the man, he talks like it. So Lucky Day was saying, yo, man, I grew up on you. 
Like all of you know, all of that. Yo, I can't all believe of, that. All of us would say the same. Yeah, I can't believe I'm even able to work with you. Like mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a miracle. Babyface was like, "Yo, check this out. I didn't know much of you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard about you right before we Yo, did this. Yeah. When such and such brought you to me, mm -hmm. it was rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like when I saw you a few years ago on American Idol, and Lucky Day chimed in and said, "Yo, that's a painful experience for me, man. This corporation be trying to rob you. He was missing it." And Baby was like, "Yeah, and but I, yeah, but I when I Lucky killed that American Idol." Yeah, and he yeah. just said, "Yeah, <laughs> like, it's, dope, that. it's exactly painful. The companies they take advantage of us. It pains me when I hear that." Baby was like, "Yeah, but when I seen you there, you wasn't there, and to see what you've come to today." The story you can tell with your voice. Like, I'm watching this shit like, damn, I want to be able to tell a story. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, baby faces has a way of saying yeah, shit yeah, that yeah. is like, words, yeah. and then he teased that. You mean again, he's a good writer? Again, this is label support <laughs> that fans might not recognize when it happens, but I recognize it. Somewhere in there, Lucky Day asked him, or they started talking about if Tony Braxton would feature on the remix of the song with him and Babyface. Know mm. what Babyface did? Yeah. I got it. I'll call Tony Braxton and put that in for you. That's label support. And Lucky's, <laughs> one of Lucky's managers is Sam Waters from Color Me Bad. Yeah. So there's a relationship That's there. <laughs> label support. Relationships, like y'all yeah. spoke of earlier. And label support. Label support and it doesn't meaning take any talent anything away that Ro James sits home and thinks about, it can come to fruition. Mm -hmm. I could call my product manager or whoever, mm -hmm. and we could put a plan together. If that's not happening, then right, you kind of just on your own. But on your own, you're amazing. Thank you, bro. You're amazing. This album was great. I don't like it better than the first one. Of course you don't. But of course you don't. <laughs> Fam, that you already know what's going on. I know, I'm, I'm I know not, you don't. Yo, I almost didn't want to have you here because I didn't know how to say, yo, that first one for me. <laughs> that first one for me. But this is a great outing. Nah, solid. Especially with what you have had to endure, what you've had to experience. Again, yeah. Mark Pitts, what up? I love RCA. Yeah, even I if this, and even I love if Mark. this talk don't sound like I've loved RCA, I love I and think we've been am on in record. full support of everything they are doing in R&B. And part of the reason, yeah. bro, actually I'll share it here, is because of some of the struggles that you mentioned. I like that RCA will highlight, sign, pinpoint, develop an artist that nobody gives a fuck about. Word. And that's when Parsa brought off the talent. legacy yeah. shit, I was like, Just you're going to be in yeah. RCA and radio, at least works. Sam and Gio. Like you know they, they, Sam and Gio? they have yeah. their... I love them, bro. Come on, come you on. You see, what I'm saying Come I got on. the good people around me, so that's good. And man. and it's just RCA would would do those time, take joint time. venture it deals time, with bro. amazing people. It takes time for us that don't have labels. Label sport, it's just not an overnight thing. It took right. me 18 years to get in this seat. Shit, like it's just not an overnight thing. It takes us having to constantly figure out our way through the maze and figuring out the people that are going to stick with us through the maze. Yeah, right. Like, that's that's, yeah, that's the part. All is from, all is from Moon Music 3. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. Parks is from some project in 08, I can't remember. Like, you know what I mean? Like, find your people that's going to stick with you and it's just get it done. And then just go. Head down, we going. I make some of the greatest music ever and I don't have the greatest promotion. But guess what? We out. For the next 15, you have to deal with this. Mm. Yeah. Y'all say something. No, real shit. <laughs> no, real shit. Nah, you was going somewhere. You was nah, going somewhere. I hate when y'all do that. Pass the collection yeah, plate around this motherfucker, man. Yeah, he was in your bag. Yo, he was in your bag. <laughs> um, damn, what do I want to play from Ro, man? I feel, I'm going to play a Ro sleeper. What's okay. up? Wait, let me figure out if there's anything else I need to talk to Ro about that has nothing to do with Ro. Yeah. Ro, how do, how do ladies treat you, man? Amazing. I mean... <laughs> I'm like, well, I know what that means. I know what that, I'm a real. I, I looked at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand what that means. Amazing. Like, yeah. Yeah. We got, we got uh, sleep. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what amazing means. Don't worry about it. I know. Uh, let me see here. Uh, World Wide West. I don't have to ask you guys about that. Uh, Vince Carter retires. Let me hit the round of applause for Vince Carter retiring. Yeah. yeah. Uh, greatest dunker of all time. I don't care what anybody says. Shouts to Vince. Yeah. The Vince Olympic is my guy. dunk. Hell of a career. Uh, let me see. LeBron just did a deal. Actually, yes, Le congratulations to LeBron and Maverick, $100, uh, $100 million content deal. Mm -hmm. As did uh, Kerry Champion and um, uh, Jamel. Jamel Hill. It's a black woman's name you forgot. I'm sorry. 
Well, now that you got it, just yeah, they did a deal on Vice. They have a show. Incredibly proud. I'm excited to, to see it. Show. Say her name. Jamel Hill. Oh, I said it. Yeah, but you forgot it first. And that's a black woman in this time. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very sensitive. My bad. Time. My you bad. You're gonna only respect my your bad. girlfriend, or you're gonna respect some other people. <laughs> I'm here to fire at everyone. I see it. I I'm see here. It. I told you I'm I here to pod today. I see it. Um, actually, I wanted to ask these gentlemen about the Wale rant that he went on about bad management, but I feel like our conversation kind of just covered some of that, so I won't. Uh, yeah. What is he talking about? He just don't have good management. He said that my managers are bad. <laughs> <laughs> Wale. <laughs> that was the rant. <laughs> you just got, how do you No, not he like went Wale? further. Oh, okay. He went further into. Well, maybe. Yo, he, sue maybe me was the, him back sue, with Mark Pitts. Sue me was the video of the year. You niggas didn't fuck with it. I've been asking for label support. I've been talking about everything that's going on before it started going on, and nobody pays me any money. I can't get push up there. But y'all push so many other people. Like, he was saying all that. And I'll share what I said to him privately, which was this is complaining without application. Yeah. Like, if you're not going to change your manager, mm-hmm. yeah, you gotta change what it. A, it's in bad taste to say, I have horrible managers. Because somewhere they're reading it as they're on the other line with a deal for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even if they're doing a bad job. Like, and that's the conundrum that artists find themselves in sometimes. Like, when you have a manager that you don't feel is maybe producing the best, right. you're not mad. You're not mad because you can manage your whole life. But how do I present this to you in a way where you can understand what I'm saying and kind of empathize mm. with me and maybe guide me, mm. guide me to the right person? <laughs> mm. I don't Listen, know who's man. manager is. So. Me neither. I'm just yeah. talking shit, man. Go yeah. shout out to Wale. I love shout Wale. I love Ro. I love <laughs> Mark Bitts. I love RCA. <laughs> I love Epic. I love Warner. I love Atlantic. I love Def Jam. Who I love the labels. Love? I love the label. You love love. I love, 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 <laughs> love the label. Aww. Listen, because as I aged in this thing, my, my beef was less with the labels. Labels are going to labels like a chair is going to chair. If you niggas are going to sign there, then what do you want me to say to you? Mm. Mm. Echo. I don't have any. Yeah, where did, where, <laughs> well, I don't have nothing to say. You want to take your rights and sign there. It's the same conversation I have with my oldest son today. Yeah. Well, why are you doing that? <laughs> what do you want out of this what are you hoping to attain how long do you want to be here do you want some money like what are you look we can get so much shit from this yeah. that it's important that we're clear on our objective before we proceed and that's with anything that's, mm-hmm. yeah. that's yeah. with anything um, no, give yourself an big, air horn big bars let me hit air horn man. big that's bars big bars <laughs> Yo, you dropping big bars today big bars I, I, I heard this. light little kick hat <laughs> Bro, we have this segment where all of us freestyle. You down? Oh, shit. Don't worry. I'm joking. Doing? I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> it is a segment, but none of them will freestyle anyway, so. Well, I Rory. Just, I just nah, gave you nah, some nah, bars. No, no, no. Rory man. gave us two bars last week. Yeah. Yeah, no. Maul. No. <laughs> That's not what up. I do. Maul of Parks has to give us uh, come on, something. Park, look, he got, I'm not ready. He got, he got bars in his pocket. Come on. <laughs> okay. You got his pockets before? All right. If one of you do Other one bars? bar, I'll attempt to finish the one bar, and that'll be two. Yo, I say yo. That's not a bar. <laughs> That's the pre talk. That's the warm up. You're right. That's, That's the, the warm up. Yeah. That's the pre talk. Yo, curly <laughs> hair, black Hanes. Come on, Maul. Cargo shorts ain't a thing. <laughs> All right, we gonna work on it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if that. All right, I mean, here we go. I was looking for like a, some syllable rhyming. Are you looking for syllable? Canes, act, ain't no. We call Benny. Oh no. <laughs> hey, uh, let's see what else is important. What else is important? What else is important? Uh, let me see. Wale went uh, rant. Uh, I'll save this for Wednesday. Quiet is kept. Where is Big Sean? That is a valid question. That I have. Come on, come on. I feel no, like no, we no, have no, this no. talk every seven no, no, months. No, 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 no. I don't no, think no. you meant that in a bad way. Yeah, I'm not trying to be funny. Yeah, I don't, I don't Sean think. was rolling out. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Got he you. told us. Say no more. Got you. His album. Got you. Yeah. So if I mean, there's a change, it's this. I would like an update. Pandemic. Yeah. I know, but I, I mean, think, I'd like an update from some of my th- favorite niggas on what's going on. Yeah. I think he held out when that pandemic hit. It's smart. Nobody's I just said Wednesday I wanted to talk about. Uh, <laughs> Did you see that the, uh, the BET Awards are airing on CBS? I thought that was kind of interesting. Via Zoom? What? No, well, I don't know how they're doing the BET Awards, but it's going to be on CBS. and that Which isn't Viacom. It is Viacom. That is Viacom? It is Viacom. Okay, well. But it's still, it's interesting. still interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> well, I mean, they do a lot of award shows and other things where it's on like six different Viacom channels. Well, what, what does it doubt? matter if it's a Zoom award show? That's a good point. I, I don't know what I'm not award. watching this shit wherever oh, it is. Oh, I'm, did, hey, they, they, hey, my, I'm so happy that my cable remote arrives tomorrow. <laughs> That's uh, it. That was the end. Uh, this is, that was the <laughs> why you not? Why are you not watching though? Why am I not watching? Yeah, what are you yeah. doing on a Sunday at eight? I'm not. Wa- I already the BET Awards is I'm, important. I'm not you watching you know because I'm fighting. Yeah, if they I'm, just had everybody perform somewhere, they recorded it already, and they just gonna piece it all together. Like, I'm not watching I'm because watching. I'm fighting for all of us in this room to receive our proper advertising money. Air horn. Proper. Like you gonna get with me one of these days? Ex- expand on it. No. Not right now. Not right now. I will at some point, but just not right now. Uh, these award shows are ad shows. Okay. They're ad shows. And I, mean, I have... Obviously, a, it's a television show. It's an ad. That's how they make their money. Everything that streams is an ad. Yeah, of course. And we stream. And there's an ad fight that we have not yet approached. So for me, it's bothersome to watch something in support of an ad-a-thon. Hmm. I will not watch an ad-a-thon until we are properly compensated for our streams. While, while I agree there, as opposed to watching anything else? 1,000. No, sir. Okay, never mind. I, I know that sounded good, and I agree with you. It just it sounded good. Just the ad a thon. As opposed stuff, to what you do with I'll, anything. I'll watch, it's okay no, 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 no. Everything watch, is that, an ad a thon. No not, doubt. That's not it's true. Okay to, that's not true. A, yes, it is. It's okay to cut down on the ad a thons that you watch. When I watch. So why the BET Awards? As opposed to the other things. No, all awards are ad a thons. When I watch Defending as Jacob, is, when I watch Defending Jacob on Adam Plus, I mean Apple Plus, Adam Plus. <laughs> Pause for thinking about Adam it's being cool. plus. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I didn't so even cross okay. my mind, but it's, yeah, it's okay. Y'all, y'all, y'all know Adam Big. No. I, that was the wild shit. Just say what you're saying. Just appealing man. to the yeah, LGB, you know yeah, no, to the L, to the G. No. Rory, we're not editing that? No. no, no, that's no. A, that's Keep a, that. That's a good that's closer. Rory, when I watch Defending Jacob on Apple or 000 on Netflix, I don't necessarily view these as adathons because Netflix is not in in search of the ad money for you to watch this show. Mm-hmm. The BET Awards and the Grammys and the Emmys and the award shows are predicated on nothing but ads and use us as ads. So like when I come in here a few weeks ago and say that they're streaming us, the award shows is kind of what I mean. What do you so, think what do you so, think the NBA is? Oh, you at that's the end. Yeah. Uh, the Super Bowl, NBA. Well, yeah, yeah I, I like whatever. I, I, know, I get what you're saying with award shows. My question to that is that sounded good, but why the BET Awards is where we're stopping it? Because an NBA game is an adathon. Can I answer for you, if you don't mind? Please. Uh, it's okay to cut out some things. Like, yeah, I know cigarettes are bad for me, but that doesn't mean I have to smoke a pack every single day just because. Like, I can sm- I can stop smoking four days a week, and that's better than smoking. All seven Agreed, but I said <laughs> first, why the BET Awards? Why are we choosing well, this, that this, to stop? But my, this but my response to me was, is just weird but my anyway. response was, it's not just, virtual, it's not virtual, just them. Weird. I'm not stopping there. But when you bring up the sports, let's talk about it. Sports is an adathon. For me, I've been for years saying, yo, we should gamble on this. Like <laughs> so some of the same changes that we note in music, like looking at the adathons and saying, hey, wait a minute, something's off. I've done in sports as well. And I've been able to gradually see some of those changes from forward thinking people in sports. Unfortunately, music has been this way since inception. Award forward shows, th- award forward shows have nothing to do with music. Uh, the music real, business real, nothing, has but. been this way and designed this way Forever. since inception. Yeah. So when you ask me the difference, that is the difference for me. I can point to the NBA in the 70s, 80s, 90s, and now and highlight the differences for you. Maybe not so much with NASCAR, the NFL, or baseball. But with the NBA, they've attempted to do it. Mm. They're not all the way there Mm. yet, so you don't need to... I don't even know if I'd attempt. I don't even say attempt, but okay. I don't. I don't think they've attempted to change them just being... uh, an ad revenue thing that properly pays everybody involved and not just using people for ad revenue. They're arguing the CBA now, Rory. So you're wrong. They just... They have, China they have argued about it 
every time. Unlike the NFL that folds, so they argue, so they argue later about what we already agreed upon. The NBA has never been that. So I disagree. I'm not telling you what to think, but no, nah, I don't. I don't feel like that at all about the NBA. And also, it's okay to pick and choose what poisons and when, how much of them you want to invest in. Man, when the NBA, or, I just asked M- why the BT was. Yeah, if we're because I know y'all I are answered, watching things. I that I answered action. that ages ago, and you keep ignoring all the answers that I keep that I keep saying. I was replying to Parks. I'm replying to you. And, so and, I don't know what you're talking NBA, about. In the NBA, when they cut the deal with China, you get paid. That's the whoa, difference. Whoa, whoa. You think the NBA players off that China deal? I'm not arguing, Roy. They do. Off the TV deal and all of that? Yes. I don't there. think anything. Yeah. Roy, don't just argue with me to argue with me. I'm saying facts. They get paid from the TV deal in 91, 92. They just aired that on the last dance. They have Watched. they have pivotal say in all CBA agreements. They lock out. They have a union. They okay. argue with niggas. They I'm, have I'm, people on their side. That, that's they not, fam, what, fam, guys, fam, that's they, not they, what I'm arguing. So relax. I'm off it. The I'm same. All right. Does, a, <laughs> does an artist get? Rory just argue shit to argue. No, 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 no. I've listen, explained listen. to you thoroughly I've been quiet. the difference. What the fuck between, you talking no, about? I said a I've word. Explained, I've explained in depth the difference between award shows and music and sports. I tap out. You'll go. Artists perform at award shows and are paid a fee. Are they paid the correct fee that comes from all ad revenue? Are the NBA players paid the the fee they deserve from the China deal? No, but they fight. They fight for it, and it's, it changes me. They get cuts right. of it. That's why you know, CBAs, collective bargaining, uh, players association. To, to what union. that China deal was, that was I a mean, proper. Like, come on, I know, I know what y'all fight. saying. It sounds good to the listeners, but I know y'all don't believe it's, that. It's a fight, but we're saying that <laughs> you know, artists are still please getting don't be fucked. like my side bitches and tell me what I believe. I believe Adam Silver to be forward thinking. If he is a blatant racist and bigot, and I don't know it, where, I don't even know where I, where be, I, I believe said anything that I do. I didn't that. say you said that. I'm saying if I'm totally wrong on him, I believe his business savvy to be in line with the players union, and I'm seeing things that I would have never thought I would have seen in sports. Kind of the same as I'm begging for in music. There are whole companies plastered on the jerseys in the NBA now. Mm-hmm. And they're paid from it. Right. Stop talking to me, Rory, and stop spreading this stupid fucking message. Because rappers and musicians are not paid that way. They're not treated that way. They're not offered a seat at the table. Then stop watching YouTube. Why? Be, be when consistent. We're, we're offered <laughs> like, a seat at that are table. Are you saying too. shit that's gonna sound good but to listeners? But seat, it's not but true. But we're offered a seat at the YouTube table too. You just wrong everywhere you turn. There are fucking millionaires on YouTube because they're cutting them in. Rory, my only argument to Just you pull, is there you are could be places a million, you could be a there are places that are not uh, cutting people in, and the music industry is one of them. I'm not sure cutting if it's, people in don't make it right. They need to be paid what they deserve. Just because you gave me a million dollars don't mean shit when I'm worth a billion. What the fuck are you talking about? You need to be considered first, and that is the difference in sports and music. Black people are not considered in music, Rory, and there's nothing that you can tell me about that. When have, I, of course <laughs> not. Nor was that ever a point that I was ever disagreeing with, ever, in anything that I was saying. My only original point was why I choose that to not stream as opposed to something else to not stream. That was it. Simple and plain. And my response to that is it's not just them. Gotcha. Um, is there anything else really important? We have to say rest in peace to Huey. Yeah. Rest in peace to Huey. Uh, yes, popular peace. for his hit song "Pop Lock and Drop It," which was that shit. That was the shit. It, it got the yeah. party started. No. It pains me when when artists are identified by their biggest song and not by the person that they were. Mm-hmm. So I want to send my condolences and prayers to his family, friends, fans, and loved ones. Uh, and this is horrible. He was murdered, right? Yeah. 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 Prayers to his family. Prayers to his family. Right. Rest in peace to Huey. I'm tired of rest in peace. Uh, yeah. I'm tired of rest in peace. Yeah. It's been a lot of rest in peace in, in 2020. Yes. Exactly what I needed. I didn't even know I needed Lord Finesse to get the Jackson 5 stems. <laughs> <laughs> it's here. Yeah. But now, nah, Parks was playing that when I walked in. That, that sounds like an amazing project. It's really good. It's real good. So you don't know? 
How if Jackson Five got the stems? I don't know. <laughs> Let me stop before Rory hit me, man. <laughs> Let me get out of here. Hey, you told me you was ready to pod earlier, man. I gotta try I you. I gotta try you, man. Nah, there'd be certain shit you can't try. When you flip a certain narrative, he gets triggered. You can't flip that narrative. Which one? So I don't do it no more. <laughs> we're gonna we we're gonna edit it so the people right. won't know. But say it at the end. <laughs> Say it now. After that. Say it now where it's hard to do it. Over the music. Yo, I want to thank. <laughs> Yo. This is the best podcast in the world. <laughs> it really is. They gonna, if they don't know, they're going to find out soon. Yo, check this out. <laughs> I want to thank y'all for joining us. You could have been in any pod in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that. And I say that, having done some recent research in, into just how many podcasts exist, there's a lot of you niggas now. <laughs> That's a fact. Oh, I yeah. know it's so many of y'all. The streets is Hey, flooded. some of y'all doing work. Yeah. Like, I got to look at y'all now. Like, all right, he on the block. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Y'all still my fucking sons. Don't you ever forget it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I want to thank uh, I want to thank Ro James for coming and dealing with this interrogation, man. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ro, I love you. I, love you too, I, I appreciate it. Thank you for coming. And I want it. Thank you yeah, for dropping. You, man. Yeah. Thank yeah, you for always. not taking four years to drop again. <laughs> thank, thank you for dealing with all the frustrations that come along with this game that we will never know about as consumers. Mm. Thank you for your consistent passion. In 2020, with the year being so wild, for me, it's really important to acknowledge niggas like you while I have the time. Yes, sir. So I want to do that. I know we cool off mic. Right, right. But... I love and fuck with you, man, and I'm really proud of your contribution, and thank you. Thank you, brother. Love you too, man. Thank you for being an artist in every sense of the word. You lived that shit. I know what's that about you. You lived lived the artist shit. shit. I'm only mad. He's still trying. Look at Ro trying to still get off my vest. (laughs) (laughs) I see the summer love the vest. In 90 degree weather. Hey, hey, nobody talk about Ro like this. this. Only cool niggas can pull that off. You gotta be cool to pull that off, right? (laughs) Yeah, you gotta be cool to put a leather off. (laughs) Yo, I want to th- again thank our first and last time listeners. Again, shout out to the essential workers. Before we leave, always yeah, rest yeah. in peace, Breonna Taylor. Rest in peace, Ahmaud Arbery. Rest in peace to George Floyd. Uh, Breonna's murderers are still on the loose. Hopefully, we can still get justice. Word. I want to shout out to the millennials and Gen Z. Y'all are still killing that shit. Oh, pardon me. Just thank you for everybody that's contributing, man. Thank you to all of y'all. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Hope all is well. Keep us in your prayers. Hold up, man. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, adios. Arriva Dirty. Hasta la vista. So long. Goodbye. Life is a series of moments and moments past, so let's make this one last as if it's all we have. Tomorrow's not promised, so we never know. Y'all hold it down for the weekend, and I will see y'all. No, nigga, what the fuck is you talking about? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I will see y'all on Wednesday. Wednesday. Do we have any final words, any last words? Anybody want to utilize their platform responsibly before we leave? Rest in peace, Elijah McClain. We forgot him in the, the shout-outs again at, but at, the, at the end. Let's, yeah. Yeah, that story is crazy. Crazy. Wow. Man. Yeah, we're going to talk about it on Wednesday. We didn't want to rush through it. There's a few topics that I didn't want to rush through today. Elijah McCain being one of them. Yeah. Uh, little Baby asking for 100 grand for a feature is another one. I want to talk to you all about that. But we had enough hip-hop fights today. <laughs> we had enough nerd, nerdy type. Yeah, of, I'm hip hop. Yeah, hip hop fight. I'm hip hop. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, going. No, I'm going. I'm I'm rush, I'm, the moment I I'm rushing home. to turn Stevie Nicks on. <laughs> yeah, <when> I, <laughs> that's where you went. When I get, yes. I fuck with Stevie Nicks. Of course you do. Yeah, I'm out of here. Enough <laughs> of, of this row rap. I'm Stevie. <laughs> it's like a wide window. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, hold it down. We out of here. Yeah.